Is this Roy? Yeah, it's Roy. Roy, how are you, buddy? Oh, this super. is the guy you bumped into outside the stage deli. Oh, I didn't bump into it. I actually peed inside of your car. I'm so sorry about that. I'm sorry? I'm oh, sorry. Okay. No, I, I understand that. I, I see where you hit me. So when I get into the car, uh, you know, I, the note was on my windshield, and I'm looking, I said... You don't say you know, it. No, it didn't do anything. But if you take a look at the lower left, you, you crack the bumper, I guess. Oh, I don't think that was Underneath. me, because what I did is I just, I got inside of your car, and I peed in it. You got inside my car, and you what? I urinated in your car, in the back seat. Well, that was nice. That, that's what I meant by ding. Why would you do that, Roy? Because it was an emergency, and I couldn't make it inside. The deli doesn't even have a bathroom for the public, as far as I know. To what now? I just, it was an emergency. Is that I, what I, you, I had to. Is that what you, is that what you call it? Left a note on my car? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, is yeah, I left a note because I felt bad. And if there's any charges for uh, cleaning or whatever, you know, washing out the car, washing out the smell of urine, I'll, I'll pay for that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're unbelievable. It, it was. Have you go into another man's car. And, you go into another man's car and urinate in it. It's absolutely disgusting. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I, it's so embarrassing. But, you know, when you got to go, you got to go. At least it wasn't a number two. Think about pit? Where was your car? I don't have a car. I was on You don't have a car. No, I was walking. Yep, so I just I climbed in the back okay. seat and I peed all over. I... I peed all over the back of each of both of the back seats, and then on the backs of the front seats, and in the floorboard, and up on the window. I, I mean, is this a prank or something? No, I wish it was. I'm so sorry. In other words, you urinated where now? On, on the back floorboard, on the back seat on both sides, on the backs of the front seats, and a little bit on one of the back windows. Okay, I'll find out what it costs to clean. Okay, yeah, and just let me know, and I'll take care of all of it. Hmm. I can't believe you would do that. I'm so sorry. It's there was a, no it's, restaurant you can go to? No. My car is in front of the stage. Why don't you go into the stage? Well, I just, I had to go immediately. I couldn't make it to the to inside. Okay, I'll let you know what it costs, Roy. Okay, thank you. I'm so sorry. And I, and I must, don't, don't thank me. I'm going to think that action is disgusting, to be honest with you. Disgusting. Yeah, but, you know. But I, I'll let you know what it costs, Roy. I had okay? to go. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Are you, are you. Do you live in West Bloomfield? Yeah, I do. I just, I still have my old Washington number. Okay. Uh, you know, you can be arrested for that. Oh, I don't think so. Because I, 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 left, okay. I left a note. No, you pissed in somebody's car. You broke into my car. Well, no, it was unlocked. You're going to be arrested, right? It, right? Was, it was unlocked. It was a must, but you can be arrested for that. No, I'm saying it was unlocked, so I, didn't, know, I didn't break in. Well, it was unlocked. I'm letting you know I'm an auxiliary cop. I could have you arrested, you know that? And this is being taped. Oh, you're, you're not taping. Come on, who has tape anymore? It's 2000. I sure am. You have a tape recorder? Sure, I am tape. Uh, uh, on this phone, I do, sure. Like uh, a magnetic tape? Like reel-to-reel? -reel? Whatever you've said is on tape. I can play it back. I can go to the West Bloomfield Department of Police Department and let them know what you just said. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I, I just, uh, I was just, you can tell them that I apologize. It'll show on the tape that I apologize no, and I left a note. <laughs> well, I can have you arrested, do you know that? Oh, no, you can't. And I, entering. I didn't break and enter because it was unlocked. You broke in and entered into a... That doesn't, in other words, if a man's house is unlocked, you can go in and take what you want? Well, I wouldn't... I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't take anything. I just would have gone in your house and used the bathroom and left. How do you know I didn't have any valuables in my car? Some books, anything? Well, I wouldn't have stolen it. Well, Roy, uh, I'll get back to you, okay? Okay. Well, there was nothing valuable in I, your car. I looked. I checked. You don't know what was in that car, Roy. Don't make any assumptions. How do you know I didn't have any jewelry in the back seat? 
You don't know what I Well, did. you can just wash off the jewelry. The pee doesn't well, stain well, the jewelry Roy, permanently. You don't, you don't know, Roy, you don't know anything about anything about what I had in the car. Okay, well, you're and being you a real douche canoe. Am. You're kind of being a douche canoe. I mean, before you said I was honorable. I'm, 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 being, I'm, I'm, I'm being abusive. You go into my car and you piss all over it, and I'm being abusive to you. you I said you're being a douche canoe. I'm sorry? You're a douche canoe is what you are. At least I didn't number two in your back seat. Okay. Right. right. I'll get back to you and I'll let you know what this costs. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Hello, everybody. This is the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, and it's episode 633. This show was recorded on October 10th, 2020, but I'm recording this on October 11th. I did a live show yesterday, and that's what you're going to hear on today's show. It was about three hours long, but I've cut it in half. It's about 90 minutes long now, I think, not counting the voicemails I'm going to dump on the end. This episode is brought to you by AK Frost, Stacky Stace, Boca Recovery Center, Jason B, and Audi Love. Those are some of the supporters on the Patreon. Thanks, everyone, for supporting the show. And thanks to you new people, Anthony B and Austin V, for signing up on Patreon. You can sign up at patreon.com slash phone losers. I posted a new Carlito show on Monday, as in almost a week ago Monday. I forgot to mention it on the last show until the very end, I think. So I'll have a link in the show notes for that if you want to go listen to a brand new Carlito show for from June of 2019. Totally brand new. Also, I was on Daisy's show on Saturday immediately after this show. So if this hour and a half show isn't good enough for you, then hopefully Daisy has posted the show that she did right after my show because I jumped on there and we did some calls together that were kind of similar to the calls that you're going to hear on today's show. It's basically a sequel. And look at this. She did post it. I just checked on her Mixler. So I'm putting a link to that in the show notes right now if you want to hear the sequel to today's show. And speaking of other shows, I'm doing a show with Dom the Bomb and Strange Life this week. That's going to be on Friday the 16th, and they usually do around 10 in the morning or so over on Mixler.com slash PrankCallNation. I don't know if it'll be exactly 10, but it'll be around there somewhere, and I'll make a tweet about it, hopefully. I'll remember to do that. We're going to be doing some Halloween pranks, so be sure to tune into that. It should be a lot of fun. What else is there before I start up the live show? Oh yeah, coins! I haven't done a coin update in a while. I have mailed out all of the coins except for five of them because five of the people on the Kickstarter have still not given me their address. What the hell, you five people? Do I have to call you out by name and yell at you for not giving me your address yet? I have coins. I want to send them to you. Give me your damn address. And if you don't know what I'm talking about or if you miss the coins, if you miss the Kickstarter, I mean, it's okay because it's still possible to get coins. You can go to PLA's Bandcamp merchandise page, which is located at phonelosers.bandcamp.com, and you can order PLA coins and Snowplow Show coins. I have plenty left over, so please buy some coins. Help me get rid of all these. That'd be nice. But I've mailed out everything to the Kickstarter people. I mailed out most of the ones that were ordered on Bandcamp, except for the ones ordered in the past three or four days. I haven't gotten to those yet, but everything else has been mailed out, and I'll get to the new ones soon. So if you ordered a coin from me, you should have it by now. Unless you're an international person outside of the U.S., then maybe it'll take a little bit longer. I don't think so, though. It seems like they should all be there. I'll put a link in the show notes, though, to the Bandcamp page if you want to get one. Greetings, listener. I'm Mr. Biggs, and you've tuned in to the Snowplow Show on the Phone Losers of America Radio Network. Playing the best pranks of the 80s, 90s, and today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I'm ready. I think I've got everything ready. Booty would like me to do something not boring. Oh man, I'm sorry. I hate to break this to you, but I'm gonna just be doing cart narc stuff today. Starting with Cindy Sweeney. And I forget how... I don't know, how do I even start these? Wolfatin was doing these the other day. And uh, he was just getting people just hanging up on him and stuff. So yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna call up some people from this list from Frankie's list, and we'll see where they go. This might just completely suck. Oh yay, effing reality's here. Didn't you suggest this effing reality? It was either you or Wolfatin. I can't remember which. 
You're all the same to me. You two. F in reality and Wolfaton. Same person. Cindy's not picking up. I think this is a good list. This is like a modern Hello, list. You've reached Sweeney's. We're not here. Uh, there's so many people on the list that I just delete one the first time they don't answer. Because why not? Usually I call stuff, you know, two or three times. Oh, yeah. Tell them they can't take the carts home. That's a good idea. Hello. Hello, Jeff. Speaking. Whoop, whoop. This is uh, Sebastian from the Cart Narcs. We saw you at the store. And you didn't put your cart away. You didn't take it back to the cart What's corral. That? You didn't take your cart, your shopping cart, back to the cart corral. You just left it out in the spot like a big old lazy bone. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I'm a lazy bone. Thanks for calling. Why, why is that? Why is, why'd you do that, Jeff? Did he say, I guess I believe you? As in basically, yeah, this is real believable. You fucking idiot. Nice attempt at a prank. I'm just going to give up on this cart narc stuff and do what Daisy does. Call up rednecks and get them to slap their dicks on the phone. That's what I need to do. Hello, this is Andrea. Hey, Andrea. It's uh, Sebastian with the cart narcs. Woot, woot, uh, uh, could you... I'm sorry, what? I'm uh, sorry, it's not ringing a bell. Uh, who did you hear with? Ma'am, you were at the store and you didn't put your cart away. You didn't take it back to the cart corral. You were a big old lazy bones. You just left it out there in the spot. I'm calling to ask you to please. I think, I, sir, I'm, I apologize, but I think you have the wrong number. This is Andrea and I'm an attorney. Ma'am, I think you are just trying to uh, deflect and pretend you didn't do it. And maybe you should just admit that you're a big old lazy bones and you didn't put your cart away. Why didn't you put your cart away, ma'am? My ma car? Your cart. Your shopping I, I cart. Have, you didn't take it back to the cart corral. You did a, I have not gone shopping. Oh, what? What? You're, you're a fancy lawyer? You don't shop like the rest of us? Sir, I'm trying to understand what you're going at. I have not... Um... Ma'am. Ma'am. Just in the future. But you're not in you trouble. You're thing? not... You're not in trouble. Just in the future, put your cart away in the cart corral. Sir, can you tell me which store? Because I'm not, I don't think I went to a store today. I didn't say today. I just said recently. We're, we're a little backlogged because of Corona. Um, as, and sorry, which store are you with? I'm not with a store. I, I'm just with the cart narcs. I, that, that's the what I'm having trouble hearing you with. You said the cart. Yeah, yeah I don't think you understood me because I, I, I you, you would have recognized me if I, at the beginning of the call I would have went, whoop, whoop, skilly, whoop. See? Right, because it's coming it? out of the blue. No. Um, what location? Um, I don't remember, to be honest. It was, it was one of our agents. Saw you uh, not put your cart away, so we're just giving you a call. And letting you know to please put your like cart away. Like a shopping cart? Yes, a shopping cart. You can't just leave them out in a spot. They could roll away. They could hit I'm another car. That I, I have not used a shopping cart in the past week. Ma'am. I didn't say it was this week, did I? This is a really strange call. I'm sorry. I'm, I appreciate your call, but I'm mm -hmm. um, uncomfortable because I don't think this is legit. Oh, no, no. That's so, all That's all we were asking for. Just an apology and a promise to not do it again. Just please put your cart away into the cart corral. Don't it's be not lazy. An apology. Well, you did say you're sorry. I heard you. <laughs> that made her hang up. All right. So let's see. We are 37 minutes into the show. And I think that was the the only call that sort of almost worked out, but not really. So woohoo, doing great. So the show has officially started. Like I told Daisy, the second half hour is always the better half hour of the show. Daisy, what time are you going on? Daisy, call into the show. Um, I'm not set up to let you do pranks with me, but I would love to hear you pour out your tequila and we'll take donations for that. Everybody can send Daisy money to pour out her tequila. The Thompson family? <laughs> she thinks she's with the Thompson family, but she's not sure. Hey, Ann! Ann, hello? Pick up, pick up, it's me, hello? Ann! Hello? Oh, Ann, thank God you answered. This is uh, Sebastian with the Cartnarks. Who? Se Sebastian with the Cartnarks. Listen, you were at the store, and you didn't put your cart away. You just left it out in the, 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 the parking spot next to you like a big old lazy bones. When? Ma'am, 
Do you do it every time? We only caught you once. No. Goodbye. Ma'am! You need to put your card away. Isn't that great? She picked up the, the phone after her machine picked up. I love when they do that. So now she's got that whole thing on recording so she can prove to her friends that she was called by a weirdo. Crazy. Hello. Ingress! Huh? Is this Ingress? Who? Ingress. Ingress? Yes. Are you Ingress? No. Well, who are you? I'm with the Cart Narks. My name's, my name's Andrea. Yeah, that's what I said. Are you deaf? Jeez. Turn up your hearing aid. We saw you at the store. This is Sebastian with the Cart Narks. You didn't put your cart away. Whoop, whoop, skiddly whoop. Whatever. Ma'am. Somebody playing... Playing? Not playing. The cart narcs don't play. All right, that wasn't my fault. It said Ingress on that one. Hello? Becky. Yeah. It's uh, Sebastian from the cart narcs. Whoop, whoop, skiddly whoop. Uh, we saw you at the store, Hi. and you didn't put your cart away. Oh. What store was I at? Ma- <sighs> Ma'am. It, it uh-huh. doesn't matter. You can just admit that you did the wrong thing and promise not to do it again. We tried to get to you at the store, and you just kind of drove off and ignored us. So we're calling you up to ask you to please put your carts away in the future. Do my what in the future? Your shopping cart. And where do I need to put my shopping cart? Into the cart corral. Okay. Who is this? This is Sebastian from the cart narcs. I already said that. Oh. So the, the the first the first step is to admitting that you have a problem. Can you just admit that you did it? No. Ma'am. Ma'am, everybody does it from time to time. I was guilty of it myself in my younger days. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, tell <laughs> Who was that? Very angry second female. This is Warren. Hey Warren. It's your neighbor. It's yes. Roy. Warren. Yeah. It's your neighbor, Roy. Okay. All right. Hey, I saw you at the store. What store? I don't know. I was out doing a bunch of errands. But listen, you didn't put your cart away. Why didn't you put your cart away? You just left it in a spot. You just curbed it. Fuck. All right. I'm going to quit doing the cart narcs thing, Okay. I've had it with the cart narcs. Or, or we just need a small break from the cart narcs. This is Patrick. Hey, Patrick. It's uh, Roy, your neighbor. Well, hey, Roy. How are you? I'm good. That's good. What you eating? Roy, where are you? Um, in my house. In my in my bedroom. What neighbor are you? Uh, Roy, How you know, have I met you? You know the bluish house? The one with the trim? What street is it on? On f- Drive? Oh, I, blue, blue house. Oh, blue hey, house. Patrick, can you tell um can you tell her to shut up? You're on the phone. Please. No, I'm not going to say that. What blue house? There's only one house next door to me. I didn't say I was next door. Jeez. Like why why are you giving me the third degree? I was just calling up to tell you I got your mail. Ugh. Okay. God. What what no, what number are you? I'll come by and get it. Oh no, I'm called I'm called to rip it up, cause I ain't the goddamn mailman. I'm just gonna rip it up into pieces. Oh, oh I, I know who this is. You're the dickhead. The what? I can't remember who you are. You're the dickhead. Dickhead? What? Why once are you? you read the, once you read the address and come on over here and hand it all hide and send it to your face. Sir, why would you call me a dickhead? Well, I don't think you understand what I said. I said you must be a dickhead. You're not my neighbor. Listen, I remember I, your voice when you called during the about four months ago. He called and did this again. What What did I say before? I can't remember. You're out, you're out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. What? I, I've never been. You're out of here before. I'm pretty sure that that's a uh, first ever in the prank call community. Has anyone else ever been? You're out of here. Oh, and I'm getting a call back. Uh, I don't know who this is, though. Hello! Is Roy there? Yeah, this is Roy. How you doing? 
Good. What you thinking about? I can get my hands on you. What? Why are you saying that? Are you the one that... Whoa. <laughs> you just hung up on me. Jesus. That was the dickhead guy, right? Man, I'm all shook up now. I think I'm going to quit the show. Hello? Hey, Anita? Yes? Hey, it's it's uh, it's Roy, your neighbor. Okay. You know, in the blue house. Hey, uh, did you find my wallet by chance in your backyard? No. Why would you be in my backyard? I was uh, I was using my metal detector. That's uh, all. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm glad you're having fun. Go to hell. What? How does everyone know it's a prank? You guys, I've been outed to this entire city. This isn't like a small group of people. This is, this is like tons of numbers. They don't know each other. I'm sure of that. How did that just happen? <laughs> I mean, I've probably done the metal detector thing. In, I'm sure I've done it in that city before. I haven't used this list before, but uh, I do remember there being some repeats. Because this is uh, from a previous list that Frankie gave me. But not that many. Just a, a couple. I mean, there's like a thousand numbers or whatever. Hello? Nicole. It, it's yes? your It's your neighbor, Roy. Hi. Hi. Listen, I need you to stop standing underneath my window outside my house and making cow noises. Because that's not cool, you know, when I'm trying to sleep. It didn't work, Teen Wolf Jesus. I tried your idea. Didn't work. I could try it again. <laughs> she hung up because she's guilty. This is the part of the show where people start answering. You know what? If this show keeps sucking, I'm just going to keep doing it until it stops sucking. We're, we're an hour in right now. In fact, it's about break time here in a little bit. Top of the hour, you know. We've got to do the, the corporate logos and station identifications and all that. We all got to pee. Oh, that's a good idea. So these are the carts have tracking devices. Hello? Hey, Teresa? Yes? It's Sebastian from the Cart Narcs. Listen, you know that shopping cart that you stole from the store? It has a tracking device. We can see it at your house. Teresa? What? We we know that you have the shopping cart at your house. So we need you to just take that back to the store where it belongs, okay? I don't have a shopping cart. I don't steal. Teresa, that's exactly what a thief would say. You need to... We, we know exactly where it is. We can see it on our GPS map here. You need to take that shopping cart back to the store. You can't just take those home and keep them. I love the what we got out of it, at least. Maybe she'll call me back since I have my fancy new phone number. All right, I need to aggressively skiddily whoop somebody. Hello. Hello, Lovette? Yes. Whoop, whoop, skiddily whoop, 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 whoop. This is Sebastian from the Cart Narcs. And I think you know what? why. I think you know why I'm calling, right? Well, I didn't understand anything you said. Okay, this is Sebastian Seabass from the Cart Narcs. And I think you know why we're calling, because you left your shopping cart out in the space instead of putting it back in the cart corral where it belongs. Care to explain yourself? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, sure you don't. I hear that every single time I confront a person about this. Everyone just wants to be a big old lazy bones and leave their shopping carts out in the parking spaces next to them because they can't walk, what, like six car lengths away? Lazy motherfuckers, that's what they are. <laughs> Mr. Banana wants me to whoop whoop skiddly whoop until they hang up. Yeah, why wouldn't I do that? Hello? Hey, Ann? Yeah? It's, it's, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with the Metal Detecting Club. We're getting ready to come over to your house. We're going to be doing some metal detecting in, in your yard. Me and the rest of the club members, there's just going to be seven of us. We don't know anything about this. I know. That's why I'm calling you. We're, we're on our way over. We're in two cars. Uh, we're just going to be walking around your yard in the front and the back and doing a bunch of metal detecting. And if we dig up anything, we'll, well, you know, we'll put it right back. You'll never know we were there. Who are you with? I'm um, with the Metal Detecting Club. The Roy. What? Huh? 
No, I don't think we would like you to do that. Oh no, we're already on the way. We already picked your house. Nope. So no, we'll we'll just do the front yard then. Everyone's just telling me no and hanging up. Everyone's being very sensible today about prank calls. It's like everyone has common sense all of a sudden. They're just like, yeah, this is a prank call. This is stupid. I'm going to hang up. Hey, June. Yes. You hung up on me. So, yeah, I did. That was weird. I don't know. Who are you? Uh, it's Roy, your neighbor. You know the blue house? How'd you get my number, Roy? Uh, look, you are. On, on the internet. Hey, uh, I just wanted to ask, can you please stop coming over to my house and sanitizing my handrails and stuff? Because I... I like I don't need that. I don't even touch the handrails since we're doing the pandemic he, thing. Whoever said, "Can you stop coming to my house and sanitizing my rails?" I think you have the wrong person. Oh no, it's definitely I, you. I know it's you. It's not a big deal. I appreciate you trying to be helpful, but just please, I I don't need you coming over here and what? Wait, hold on. You, you're, you're just spreading wait, more corona. You, basically, why don't you come over here? Come to my door so I know who you are. No, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I don't want to come over and hang out. That's well, weird. What's your address? I'm in the blue house. But what does it matter? You know what my address is, but you keep coming to all. I don't know who you are, you keep... but whoever you are, I don't come to your home. I don't try to say I wouldn't waste sanitizer on you. So don't call me. Okay. Hey, that's kind of rude saying it like that. But can you please not do that anymore? Just please. That's I'm just asking you to please stop. That's all. I couldn't remember her name because uh, it was the wrong name on that on that one. This is Natasha. Hey, Natasha. It, it's your neighbor, yeah. Roy. I'm sorry, who? Uh, Roy. You, you know the blue house on, no. on Chestnut Hill? Anyway, mm -hmm. I just I just wanted to say, to say thanks for um, coming over and, and sanitizing the handrails and the doorknobs and stuff. I saw you on my Ring mm -hmm. security camera. That was nice of you, so thank you. Yeah. Yep, I'm not sure who this is. Uh, it's Roy. No. Uh, is there something that you need? Oh, I was just calling to say thank you. I noticed you were doing that on my porch. Are you doing that on everyone's house, I guess? It's not just me, right? Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Y it is just me? No, I'm not sure who this is. I didn't do that, so I'm not sure who this is. Oh, no, you definitely did. I saw you on the ring camera. Yeah, you were, not me. No, you sanitized my hey, handrails. I think you've actually called me before saying that you were in a blue house in my neighborhood. but you're, what? What, you're did I, what, what, what did I say before? Mm. I said mm. I don't remember something something that I was left some underwear and somebody's uh, will or something. Oh my god, really? Yeah, that's when my my dad died. Strange. Yeah. Way before the COVID happened. Yeah. Those were simpler times, weren't they? Yeah. It's been a crazy year. All right, I gotta go. It's been a crazy year. Come on, reminisce with it me. Has. Nope, I gotta go. Come on, lady. So she's one of the people that I called while I was on the beach over on the coast. <laughs> leaving leaving a bunch of shit to everybody in my wheel in my will. All right. I think I'm I think I'm done with Frankie's list permanently. I mean, there was like a thousand people on this list when he sent it to me, and now there's two hundred. I'm gonna save this and give it to someone else. Because it's a lot of numbers. But damn it. <laughs> My dad left his underwear to you. That's so great. <sighs> so, um, yeah. It's noon. Let's listen to a song or two. I'm going to get another list together. Because I'm done with this one for the day. Just completely done with it. This entire large city knows about me, apparently. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a new list. Oh, yeah. oh. you fucking... Hey! I'm call hey. I'm calling about your uh your pickup. Which one? The one with no motor. Which motor is it missing? It's the F ten. What's wrong with your phone? Put your mouth up to your phone, sir, so I can understand your wor your words. Sir. Yes. Sir? Okay, it's a little better. Sir. What the fuck did you want to know about it? Uh which motor is it missing? It doesn't have a motor in it. Which, I know, which one? Which motor does it not have? Like the motors that run the, was, the windshield wipers? It was wipers? a four-cylinder. What? It was a four-cylinder. Oh, you're talking about the engine. 
What year? No, the engine. Never mind. Listen, sir. You, you, sir. I can't hear what you're saying with your music on in the background. Oh, the mu you can still hear the music? Oh, shit. I didn't even think of that. Hold on. That, that could be an issue. One second. Okay. I'm still getting used to this mixer. I'm very sorry. All right. The music's off, right? Yeah, I don't hear it now. Okay. Settle down. Jesus Christ. Um, so the one with no motor, why is it, right, let me, why is let it, me, let me, let me, what, ahead. I'm sorry. what, I said, I'm sorry, go ahead. All right. Listen, stop yelling at me. Why does it cost I'm so much? Sir, stop yelling at me. Why does it cost so much? Why is it $2,000? All right, I got all I got all messed up on that one because of the the whole music thing. Yeah, he could still hear the music. It's all my fault. Hello, please leave a message and we'll return your call. If so I'm calling off of a tradio list now, because like I said before, if if those numbers don't work out, I'm just gonna get some people to slap their dicks on the phone. Hey, hello. Hey, I was calling about the stuff you put up on the tradio. Yeah, hold on just a minute. Let me turn this television Sir, off. you don't need to yell at me. Okay. What do you want to know? Hey, um, so you got these uh, president coins. Which presidents are they? Yeah, I've got a, a, a complete set, and it tells all about each president all the way up to uh, the present president. Oh, that sounds so interesting. And it's in a book? Yep. Where you at? Chiefland? Yeah, I'm in Chiefland. How'd you know? Well, I don't know. I just guess. Uh, oh, wow. You know where Beef Old Gravy's at, don't you? Oh, hell yeah, I do. Beef Old Gravy's. Everyone well, knows where that is. Just, yeah. Well, let's turn right there. Beef Old Gravy, go west and watch for 75th Avenue. That's only 3rd third uh or yeah third road to the right and don't go around the curve if you did you went too far ah shit and or i'm on just... the i'm on the second i'm on the second block it's only two blocks long yeah a little old street or you could just give me your goddamn address and i'll put it in my gps machine Four uh, Avenue. that was a long way of getting that wasn't it have these coins ever been dipped in dandelion wine Pardon me? Dandelion wine. Have you kept these coins in dandelion wine? Have you dipped them into dandelion wine? Nah, I, don't know about, I don't know about the dandelion wine. That's how you preserve them and, and keep them looking shiny and everything. I don't know, honey. The, or I don't know what the... I've got a lady that helps me. I'm 93 years old. Oh, I see. Did you just call me honey? <laughs> Yeah. Sir, that's very I, sexist. I, 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 I don't sound that gay, do I? Yeah, anyway, if you, want to t if you want to take a look, come on. All right. Hey, I have another question. All right. Uh, listen, when, what is that noise? What is that noise? I got a, a, I got a uh, signal. Anything drives up in the driveway will tell me something's coming. Well, who's because here? Because I'm in the back of the house. Who's here? Yeah, Who I'm it? in the back of the house. Who is it? And Who's coming? Who's coming? Do what? Who's coming? All right, be careful. Bye. No, no, right, don't bye. hang up. Sir, sir, I want the coins. Sir, I want the coins. Oh, his heart monitor. I had another question for him. He just hangs up on me. I wish I knew these people's names. I think that would make this a little bit easier. Hey, Daisy, I noticed you haven't called in yet to, to dump out your wine. I mean, not your wine. Your dandelion wine. Hello? Hey, uh, I was calling about that Tipton gun vice. Yeah. The 782 731. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck is that? Pardon me? I said, what the fuck is that? What is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, what is it? Uh, a gun vice is for working on rifles. Right. It's like that. Well, I mean, you just you set, you set it on the vents, and uh, it's got a, a cradle in the front, 
that holds, you know, the barrel, and uh, it's got a, uh, a quick clamp that adjusts on the back for to hold the stock. You don't have to talk down to me, you know. Uh, like, I'm, I'm not an idiot. I was just asking. Well, you asked me what it is. Right, but, you know, <laughs> like, the way you're explaining it, it's like your man explaining it to me. I'm not a woman. I've already been called honey once. <laughs> well, I didn't do that. Yeah, but you may as well have. Uh, are you interested in this voice or not? Hell yeah. Okay. So, um, but I have some questions first. Okay. Where t- where do you live at? Because you, you know what? You have, you have a Maryland phone number. Did you know that? I can't come all the way up to Maryland. That's crazy. I have a cell phone. Yeah, I'm number. down. I'm down here in Florida, sir. I can't just drive so up to I, Maryland. I've been, here, I've been here for seven years. Seven years. How do you have a number from Maryland? Because I do all my business in Maryland. That sounds so sketchy. Are you sure you're not trying to rip me off with this gun? This gun vice. Why am I? Why am I going to rip you off for a $35 gun vice? I don't know. You're the one with the out-of-state area code. Like for, for tax purposes or whatever you said it was? No. I have business uh, associates in Maryland. What kind of business? Like, uh, listen, Why can't they just okay. call long distance? I'm, I'm with the Are Marion they... County Sheriff's Office as a volunteer. That means you're not I a sheriff. Get, uh, did you just no, t- did I'm you just explain to me that you're not a sheriff? That's nice, honey. You know what? This what? conversation's over. Don't bother calling back. What else are you no. not? What what can you tell me other things that you're not? Are you are you not an attorney and not a a banker and what else? What else have you not done? What I'm not is a very patient person. Why haven't you hung up yet? To you. What? I said what I am not is a very patient. Oh no, I got that already. You already you already threw that zinger at me. Are you interested in buying a good voice or not? Yes, I just don't want to get ripped off by someone who who. I, I was just saying I can't travel that far. Okay, I didn't realize you were actually in in. I Fort- live between Nellon and Morriston. That's right where I live. I think we're really close by then. It was just so confusing because you had that area code, like, up up there in Maryland. I don't even know where that is. I was on the West Coast or something. Sir. Yes. What color is the gun vice? What color is it? Yeah. It's the base of it's gray and the pads are red. What what uh what are the pads made out of? Uh, I don't know. I guess they're foam and they're covered with vinyl or something. I don't, I don't really know. You don't have to mansplain it to me. <laughs> what was that noise at the end? Are you guys still hearing music? What do, what do you mean you're still hearing music? I think that's just in your head. Look, there's the music. Wait. Yeah, you guys can't hear music unless it's like way in the background. It's crazy talk. There's no music. Hey, a yard sale. I have not done a single yard sale call this year. And this might be my opportunity. All right, we're getting a call from Daisy. Um, Hopefully Daisy can hear me. Daisy. Hello. Hey, you're on the air. Hey. Hey. Uh, I, so when you called in before, I had you on the other line, and I guess I don't have that line set up properly yet, because I wanted you to be able to make calls with me, but you can't. Oh. So that sucks. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Well, let me turn this around. Here's my bottle. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay, wait. What is what is this bottle? What, what, it uh, is El Himidor Tequila Silver. Does it have and a, it is. And what? Does it have a worm in it? Does all tequila have worms in it? No, no worms. Okay. See, I don't know. I really... 
God, it smells so good. Yeah, take take same take some whiffs out of it. It's okay. Okay, whiffs are okay. <laughs> yeah, it's no licking. Oh, oh nothing. Okay, <laughs> don't do that. Okay, so Daisy's in her bathroom, everyone. So Daisy, you have hey. you have like a, a small issue with al- the alcohols. I do. I am Daisy, and I am an alcoholic. Mm-hmm. And, and... go ahead. Oh, nothing. Uh, and and how many days sober are you right now? I am. 12. Okay. <laughs> Shit, the connection's dropping. You're turning into a robot. Oh shit! <laughs> God damn it, Daisy. What about now? I hear you now. Daisy, Is but it I, better I, now. I don't see you, but it's okay because okay, I'm not recording anyway. Okay. I mean, well, you have to see me. I'm showing you in my mirror. No, no, I see you. It's just all jumpy. But n- now I think it's fine again. Anyway, how many days okay. sober? How many days sober are you? Twelve weeks. Okay, Daisy is twelve weeks sober. Everyone should congratulate her on that. I'm very proud of you, Daisy. Thank you. I remember when it was just five weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Those I remember when it was just a day, and I was texting Devin like, "Hey, I really want a fucking drink." Oh, and, you, you have a kitty in the yeah. background. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Daisy has a bottle of, holy shit, that's, <laughs> that's a cute kitty. <laughs> uh, Sorry. He has like a big bobblehead. Um, so that, that bottle of alcohol is $13? Yes, it's okay. my okay, so listen, $13. Listen, everybody, I promised Daisy I would send her $13 if she pours this in the sink. And if you would like to reward Daisy, you should send me extra money on PayPal, rbcp at phonelosers.org, and I will send it all to Daisy. Just tell me it's for Daisy, because she's going to pour this in the sink. But I'll send you $13. I'll send you $14, Daisy. Okay. I kind of feel like crying. How bad is that? <laughs> well, how are you able to not drink that if it's been in the house and you've been not drinking? For, like, it's in the house. Why is it in the house? I know, because just... I bought it to drink it one day with Symphonium, and then I got admitted to the hospital because my liver shut down yeah. because I drank too much. Don't drink, kids. Yeah. Drinking's bad. So, are you All right. ready? All right, Daisy's... T- oh, my God, I'm about to cry. I'm She's... shaking. Oh, can you put your microphone closer to the sink? To the sink? Yeah, because I want to hear it pour in there. That's perfect. Down the drain. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually pouring it out though. <laughs> I'm such a oh good my god. In- look at it going down the drain. I wish I would have recorded this. I should have turned on my screen recorder. Such a dummy. It's it's all gone. It's all gone. Yay. Good job, Daisy. I did it. We're gonna give you hand claps. <laughs> Woo! So I was just kidding about the $13. I'm not made of money. I'm sorry. I'm not... No, that's okay, too. No, I'll send you $13 okay. later today on, as soon as my show's over. And if any of you have okay. Daisy's... Okay, well, thanks. If any of you have Daisy's um, PayPal, you should also send her money. <laughs> but thanks to you for being such a positive influence, Daddy Brad. Anytime. Love it when you call me Daddy Brad. <laughs> <laughs> all right i wish hey okay, c- have a good rest of your show all right Go i wish ahead. i could keep you on i wish you could do prank calls with me this sucks i need to get my mixer all hooked up so we can i can have people on god damn it do it all right hey. thank thanks for doing that Go. congrats thanks brad on however many weeks thank you i've already forgotten 20 something yeah exactly 12 i don't know bye <laughs> i'm so terrible i don't even know daisy has a patreon she does pretty funny pranks even when she's not drunk. She still smokes weed, so everything's fine. But she's doing really good about not drinking now. Uh, Daisy should post her, like, Devin. Daisy probably won't do it. Devin, post post Daisy's uh, thing. You know, post the thing. The links. The Mixler. The Mixler and the, I don't know, just click on Daisy's name, you know? What's your PayPal, Daisy? Links, don't leave, Mr. Banana. It's about to get good. Don't go. Just just 10 more minutes, Mr. Banana. Just put off whatever you're doing. 
I'm calling a yard sale person. And I'm going to call them at least three times because I really want to get a hold Your of them. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. So, ah, no. No routes found. What? Okay, let me try again. There we go. There's all the links in the chat room. Hello? Hey, I'm calling about that yard sale. Yeah. Um, how's it going there today? Having a lot of having a lot of people? Uh, having a few people, not a whole bunch, but a few people. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, it must be nice, because guess what? I'm having a yard sale, too, what? and I'm right by you, and you're, yeah. ta you're taking away all my business. <laughs> Where are you at? It's pretty dirty work you're doing there, you know, like setting up your yard sale on the same day that my yard sale is. Yeah. Well, I set up every weekend. I know, but why couldn't you just not do it this weekend? You saw in the paper that I was doing a yard sale, too, I'm sure. Yeah. And then here you are yeah. having one to compete with me. You're, you're just, you're basically just where, like, screw that where, guy. Where are you at? I, I'm, where are you at? I'm not that far from you. You know exactly where yeah. I'm at because you, you, you decided to have your yard sale so that you could take all my business. And I saw the sign, yeah. I saw the sign you put up that that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's to direct people away from well, me. I've, I've you know been, what? I've been, I've been doing that. I've been doing it here for the past three or four years. Yeah, and it's bullshit. You know, give give some of us other people a chance for once in your life. Yeah. Well, I, hey, I can't help it. I'm I'm trying to make some honest money. I got taxes and everything. I got the tax number and everything. Oh, guess so, what? Uh, guess what? We all do. Yeah. 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 You're but, just like everybody else, but you know, you don't play like the rules like everyone else. You yeah. just have your yard sales, and you made your yard sale sign look just like mine, yeah. just just so you could well, steal all my business. You, you, you're the only guy that's ever said anything. I've had people clear down in Newbury have the yard oh, sales every weekend. Oh shit! And nobody else hasn't called me. I've even come to your yard sale before and and bought things. Yeah. And everything. I'm I'm like normally such a nice person, and you have to be that yeah. way to me. Yeah. Why? Well, I buy, I buy all my stuff for resale. I buy and resale. Yeah, so it's That's not even a yard sale. It's not a yard sale. It's more like a business. Yeah. How come you don't have well, to open it's a up? yard sale. It ain't a business. It's a uh, yard sale. It seems kind of seems like a business. It kind of seems like a, a tax evasion scheme. That, we have. I have guys set up down there at Crazy Papas. They don't say a damn thing about me. Because you, you were talking about like saving. You're, you're, saving. The, only per, you're the only person. You're the only person that's ever complained about it. Yeah, but it sounds like you're you're uh, you're saying you're saving money on taxes. That's what you said before. You got to save money on taxes. And, and do what? You're, you're you're running a business, and you're you're just pretending it's a yard sale. I, I need a copy of your ten ninety nine. Yeah, it's a yard sale. Yeah, I'm gonna come to your it's yard not a sale. Flea market. It's a yard sale. I'm gonna come to your yard sale, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you for a copy of your ten ninety nine. Can you have that ready? No, I don't have no 1099. I don't charge no taxes on my, my on my merchandise. Yeah, that's illegal. You're running a business and you're not charging taxes. You know they got John it's McAfee. It's not a business. It's a yard sale. It's not a business. Yeah, it's but a yard sale. You, you it's not a business. You said you've been doing this every day for three years. It sounds like a business to me. <laughs> I just caught a tax evader, everybody. Caught him red-handed. Oh. Hello, this is Carol. Um, I just wondering if your yard sale is still open today. Uh, yeah, I'll be here probably for another 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, and do you take cash or um, can I use my credit card there? Uh, just most of cash, no credit cards. Oh, no credit cards? Why don't you take credit cards? No, no. Is it is it because you're running a business and you're pretending it's a yard sale? Yeah. Is that what it is? No, I don't. Sounds, I don't deal in credit cards. Everything's I know. cash. I know. It sounds like you're just avoiding taxes. You're just taking cash. Yeah. You're not even paying taxes yeah. on it. Yeah. Well, I, 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 well, I sell my stuff just like I, I buy it. I know. I Whatever know, I pay for, that's what I, I sell it for. That, that's called tax evasion. You're evading your taxes. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you mean you're Well, I don't, I don't do you know what everybody's calling me about just here. It ain't none of their business what I do here. 
Yeah, yeah, you it is. Mean? It's, it's, it's the IRS my property. Is business. It's my property. I'll do what I want to do. You yeah. know, well, I'm no, not. You, get, uh, I'm not getting nasty sir, with you, know. Sir, you can't. But I'm, you can't, I'm trying to make an honest yeah, 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 dollar. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you can't evade taxes just because you own a property. Yeah, but just like I say, I sell my all my stuff cash money. That's it. Yeah, I know. And then, and then you don't pay taxes on it. You're running a business and not yeah. paying taxes, and you're stealing away our it's yard sale business. You know, it's, we, it's not a business. It's a yard sale. It is to a business. You do it's it every day. It's not a business. It's not a flea market. Three years. It's it not is. a flea market. It's a yard sale. Oh, that sounds like somebody that runs a flea market would say. Yeah. Yeah. I just do like the guys do down at Crazy Pop. They got yard sales. That's all they yeah, got. Yeah. That's what I got. Everybody yard else sale. is a tax evader, so I'm going to be a tax evader, too. Yeah. You know, I, I well, basically, I, 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 I pay taxes on your yard sale because I don't evade my taxes. Yeah. I'm, I'm a yeah. good citizen. Well, I, I, sell pay my, my, I sell my money all in tax, all untaxable. Just whatever I pay for, that's what I sell it for. Wait, that's that's just uh, I, being a bad I, businessman. You, you don't make any yeah, profit? It's, yeah. That's it's it. no no taxes. You know what you pay? $2, that's what you pay. Just $2, that's it. Yeah, but you know what? That That's uh, that's a form of tax evasion. Yeah. You got to yeah. cut that out. So, also, you're making us look yeah. like a bunch of hobos. Uh, like your junk devalues okay. the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and we'll talk to you later. I'm tired of your eye pollution. He's <laughs> old. Okay. Thinks he's Fred Sanford and shit. That's what must be the med says. I think he really is evading taxes, though. Oh, shit, another one. A moving sale. Complete set of leather-bound Louis Maror books. Looking for a man who repairs grandfather clocks. Oh shit, what can I do with that? Oh yeah, Sigma, he's full of shit. <laughs> he's not making any money. I don't know, he, he might pay taxes. I'm just giving him shit. And, and if he doesn't, good for him. You know, have your garage sales. You own property. You don't have to pay taxes when you own property. Pretty sure that's how it works. So what am I saying to this guy? Grandfather clocks? Hello. Hey, I was calling about that uh, leather-bound Lewis Maror books thing. You're call you're calling about what? The Lewis Maror books. I heard you on the train. Oh yes. I, I heard you on the radio. Uh -huh. I heard you on the radio. You okay, I hear you. All right, good. Do you still have those leather-bound uh, Lewis Maror books? Yeah, they're leather-bound. And it's the whole set. Okay. How many are in the set? Ooh, I don't know. I would have to count them. All right. Right now. Uh, what? I, it's, they're in a duffel bag, and it's a great, great big bag, and they're very heavy. How heavy are uh, they? There's a bunch of them. How many pounds? Um, how many books do you think are in that Lewis Lamore set? I know there's a bunch of them, but about how many? I'd say there's probably uh, 30 or more. Can you even count past 30? <laughs> yeah. Because that's more fingers and toes than you got. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. I, I'm over at Lake City right now. I live at O'Brien. Um, That's nice, honey. And uh, my cell phone would show your number. Um, I could count them when I get back home and call you and let you know. Yeah. Do you have anything else that's leather bound? Are you having an actual sale? It says it's a moving sale. Uh, I'm moving. Yes, yeah. I'm moving from O'Brien down to Hernando County. Why are you moving? Because I'm from Hernando County, and I'm getting old, and my companion is older than old. Why'd you move there in the first place, then? Oh, I've been up here for a pretty good while. What are you doing out of the kitchen? <laughs> I ain't never been in the kitchen. Does your I raise horses and stuff. Oh, I bet you Daisy would have something to say about that. <laughs> She'd, she'd school you on horse shit stuff, <laughs> I mean. Uh, you're not with witness protection or anything? That's not why you're moving? 
No. All right. Are you in a car right now? Mm-hmm. All right. Honk the horn. Honk it like a long honk. A long honk? Yeah. Yes. I'm at a stoplight. People might not like that. Just fuck those people. Who cares? Come on. Hold it down. Lay on that horn. <laughs> But if you want me to, I'll call you when I get back home. I'll ca look and see how many of those books are in there. All right. Uh, did, are you away from the stoplight yet? No. Ah, shoot. <laughs> Who's that guy talking in the yeah, background? Yeah, Barney. What, Barney what? That's my companion. Oh, okay. My companion. I see. Hey, hello, companion. You said hello. <laughs> We're right in the middle of Lake City right this minute. Okay, it sounds like you started up again. Go ahead and lay on that horn. That wasn't really laying on it, but okay, you can have that. <laughs> Stop being such an aggressive driver. Huh? So, um, how come you call him a companion? Is he like a dog? Yeah. <laughs> no, because he's a monster. He's a monster? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, if you want me to call you back, I'll call you back when we get back home. All right. Will you trade um, those books for uh, if I repair your grandfather clock? I am trying to give the grandfather clock. We have uh, parts, and we have a case, um, and we're trying to give it away. I thought you wanted someone that repairs it. Well, I was looking for the fellow that repaired them so I could give it to him. Well, if I repaired it, then you could just sell it for money. I, know I haven't got time. Well, if you repaired it, you could sell it or keep it. I don't have time for that shit, but I'll repair it. <laughs> I have like a bunch of Legos. Uh, no. I have Legos. They have gears and stuff on them. Uh -huh. And I'll just recreate the clockwork out of Legos inside of the grandfather clock, and it'll work just like it used to. Mm. Uh, no, I'm just trying to find somebody that wants the thing. But I'm going to convert it into a grandmother clock. It is a grandfather clock. No. A I'm case. Man. And the pendulum and everything is there. Right, but I'm going to convert it into a grandmother clock. That means I'm going to take the pendulum off. And I'll take that with me. And you're just going to have the clock part. The top part. And it's going to run on Legos. That's a 57. Ma'am, will you stop flirting with me? I'm married. <laughs> I'm, I'm married. He saw a Chevrolet car, yeah, and he thought it was a 56, but it's not. It's a 57. Oh, man, your companion's a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's clearly a 57. Did you see those fins? Hit, hit your companion yeah, upside the back of the head. Uh, no, he had two strokes. Well, give him a third one. So, but no, I don't want it fixed and keep it. Well, you just have I've it. Got, I'm I'm in the process of moving now. Oh, you don't say. I, got, I didn't know I'm that. I'm just trying to get rid of stuff. I had no idea. I never would have known. Listen, put your companion on the phone. He can't talk. What? What do you mean he can't talk? He's been he, doing nothing but talking. Yeah, but when he tries to talk, he can't. I'm going to have to go. Guess, if you want me to call you back about those books, I will. I'm trying to figure out what that means. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll talk to you later. All right. Hey, I love you. No. Should have said that quicker. When he tries to talk, he can't. Yet he talks constantly. <laughs> Amy Lee wants me to factory reset the companion. <laughs> uh, okay. Um.
Yeah, I know. I'm making fun of people's strokes. I'm a terrible person. Whatever. We all know that. I wish I knew these people's names. Why don't I know their names? Hello. Hey, I'm calling about that uh, John Deere Model 4100. Yes, sir. I have it. Yes, sir. I've got that still. Um, I've also got a four-foot JD Bushhog and a box blade. That's uh, yes, that's six, it. Sixty-nine hundred. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was really neat. There was a gentleman talking and a woman talking. I'm sorry. Why are I've there never... two people on the phone? Why are you both on the phone? I have no. I have this no idea. Make... I'm just calling I'm about gonna... the John Deere Model 4100. Yeah, I'm. I'm I was just telling you. And... We also have a JD Bushhog. And I would, I would definitely swap that for a 15-foot Key okay, West well, like boat. Okay, like I said, I'm not talking sir, to two different people. Why are I'm there two people? Why are, you can call me back. Why do you have a, two people on the phone, sir? Well, that didn't work out, did it? I think that just confused me, too. And I just remembered something. Hold on. I keep realizing things in the middle of my show. Okay, that's fixed. Hello? Hello, I'm, I'm calling about your Sanyo, your TV. Yes. You, you don't have yes. the... Yeah, we, we have the Sanyo, uh, but we don't have the remote. I'm sorry. Oh, you don't have the remote? What? Yeah, it says that in the ad. What, what happened to the remote? I, I don't know. We just kind of lost it, you know? Uh, we've also got eight Jeff Foxworthy books, and I can throw those in with the TV for free. All right, that idea is just not going to work. Never mind. I won't do that again. Do that again. She hung up. That's something to try on my own, because you guys don't want to sit here and listen to me fail over and over at the same thing. Here, let me let them talk a little bit more. I want this to work. Yeah. Hello? Hey there. Hello? Hey, hey, I was calling about that Oak computer desk with the file cabinet. Oh, yes, sir. Is that, yeah. is that still available? Yes, it is. Yeah, we still got it. It's, um, I don't know, I'd say it's like five feet across. Five feet by 20, by 25 inches. Um, wide. I'm sorry, why is, there another, inches. why is there another lady on the phone? I don't know. I'm just calling about the Oak computer desk, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know who the other lady is. I'm, it's my desk. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. No, it's my desk. I'm selling it. It's uh, 100 No, it's my desk. He called me. <laughs> Sir, is that your wife on the phone? No, I don't know who that is. I just I called about the Oak computer desk. It, it's 125 Yeah, that's me. Yes, it's 125 I don't know who the other person is talking, but well, I'm Kitty. It's coming from your end. Uh, excuse me, I'm Kitty. Well, you know what? The phone is just messing up. Then. Oh, the phone's messing up. You just happen to be <laughs> selling an old computer desk for the same price as me. Is this? Is I this have so no idea. It sounds like a scam. You called my number. <laughs> it sounds like you're scamming me or something. No, you're scamming me. This man just called me. Are you guys just messing with me both? I, like no, the, I don't know who the other lady is. I don't know who she. I is. really don't know who she is. is it, she's on your end, though, right? Because she's got the same thing for sale. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. She hung know. up. No, she. Are you? Are me? Oh fuck! Oops. I'm still here. I'm also selling. What's your name? Uh, my name's. This is Kitty. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm selling a desk and some boots and some fertilizer. Yeah, that's the ad I'm looking at right here. So I'm sorry, which one is the one actually selling? Sir, what number did you call? I called the 4057 number. Yeah, that's my number. And I don't know who this, this lady is on my phone. But she has popped in on my line and she sounds like a scammer. No, you're the scammer. He dialed my number. I think I'd never heard of this before. I just dialed one number. I didn't call two people. I don't know why you're both. You're sure that's, I know. that's not one of your kids on the extension phone? Just I have no kids here. I'm by myself. Okay, well, that's, you know, I, I just want to buy the desk. I, I'm very interested in the desk. Okay, I'll, where I'll are pay, you located? I'll pay the 125 Yeah, let, let me give you my address. If you want my address, <clears throat> you can come over and pick it up. It's Where are you still calling available. From, sir? We still have the boots, too. I, I'm in uh, Chiefland. Oh, okay. So am I. No, I'm in Chiefland. I don't know who <clears> this lady <throat> is. The boots are sold, honey. You don't know anything about it. Ma'am, I'm not calling about the boots. 
I know this other lady said the boots are still available. Mm. She doesn't, she's, it's not me. I don't know how that's happening. I this just lady, don't understand. This lady is impersonating me. My name is Kitty. What's your last name? That's none of your business. What are you, an identity thief? You must be. If you're yeah, no, you pop, are. Popping up on my phone line like this, trying to, so, trying to act like you're me. Why don't you get out my number back and we'll get rid of her. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's going to get rid of you, ma'am, because cause you're the one that's a, a faker, so, scammer. Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just confused about all the, what's happening. I know, well, I, I should just whatever back. number you dialed, for whatever number you dialed, just ring it back to me. Okay. Oh, I dialed. Are you a 528? A a yeah. Yeah, well, I got your number. Yeah, you called me. Oh, yeah, you could, I don't know. You could call me back. Maybe she won't be on. No, no, I'll be okay. here because I'm, I'm the one selling right, thank the, you. the computer desk. Yeah. <laughs> I was starting to get confused on that one. So she's going to call me right back. We'll just sit here in silence and wait for her call. And if she doesn't, I'll call her right back. And guess who's still going to be on the line? <laughs> Let Carol pick up? Okay. <laughs> uh, I want her to call me. Why isn't she calling back? Probably takes her a little while to... To figure out how to work the redial and or the the memories the caller id displays all right i guess i'll call her i mean when the clock hits 12 57 that's when i'm gonna call her we're gonna sit here for however long that is it's 12 56 right now oh kitty not carol I mean, what sucks is um oh hold on let me try again real quick let me go to 411.com and I'm going to put her number into it. And it's not there. She's not listed. But let's try Google. Oh, all I see is the Tradio page that she posted on. Yeah, nothing for her. Oh, this is from last year, though. Last year, she was uh, looking for lane hens. <laughs> A food sealer. And she was looking for women's cowboy boots. Are those the same boots that she's selling now? Or that already sold? Sorry. Okay, yeah, it's 12.57. Let's go ahead and call her back. She's not calling me. She can't figure out how to work the call ID. But I got to reference this old stuff as Carol. I, I'd be like, I sell stuff all the time. Last year I was sell I was looking for laying hens. I'll say I have a bunch of laying. Hello? Hi. Um, I called about the Oak computer desk. Yeah, and, and you know what? I called, the, num I I called the number back, and it says it's, it, didn't, it didn't even ring to you. Oh, it weird. said it's a disconnected number. Well, I don't know how you're still on my line then, Lynn, because, you know, I... Well, you're, I, you're a scam. I'm sorry. I'm not a scam, ma'am. I'm just trying to sell my computer desk, and I don't know why you're interfering with this. You know, I'm just you trying to make You are interfering. When, how, did, how did this man hear about your computer desk? It was on the, the, the Tradio. On no, the... don't tell her. Don't tell her. Oh, sorry. I, it was from the Tradio. How did he know about your computer desk? Because I put it on the, the radio this morning. And I, oh I've been God. doing that for years, you know? Like, I, I'm always... Oh, my God, that woman is crazy. I am not crazy, ma'am. You're the crazy one. What's You're... your number? No, yeah, he called me. My number is 4057. Look, I, I just wanted a computer desk. I don't know why... <laughs> What's this all about? This is just weird to me. I, just... I don't know either, but it's uh, my phone has been saying that I sh I have a bunch of um oh because you're a scammer. I need to no, you are. You are. I I've been, it says I've been that I need to go to Verizon because there's a bunch of virus on my phone, and that's probably how this is happening. Oh, that sounds like a lie. I wouldn't listen to that message. See. She doesn't know anything about it. Yeah, she sounds like a scammer. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she definitely does does sound like a scammer. Yeah, I know. I've been putting stuff on 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 the radio for years. I, you know, I, I really. I, I sold How my, old are you? I sold my food sealer last year. Well, this is and, the first time I've put anything on. Oh, that, that's weird because I remember putting lots of stuff on. I remember I, I, I called into the radio station and I said I was looking for laying hens. And uh, I was selling my woman's cowboy boots. And, you know, I, I've been selling on here for years. This is a you're, scam. You're, I'm telling you, this is a virus, sir. I know. You're this the virus. virus. You are the virus, ma'am. I'm, I'm the real <laughs> kitty. 
she doesn't know what she's talking about. Well, I'm sorry. Which one's the real kitty that actually has the computer desk? Me. That's me. That's me. It's not I live her. in I... Chiefland. Now, I live in Chiefland, and my name's Kitty. I'm selling a computer desk. Sir, yes. you want my address? Um, yes, please. I, like, okay. do I, do you, can I just come by anytime and get it? Yes. Oh, yeah, this is going to be I'm good. Here. Let's see if she has my address. No, you tell me your address. No, I, you go ahead. You're calling from Old Town. We're cross city. No, well, I'm I'm calling from. Uh, you know, I'm I'm in Chiefland. Chief yeah, I'm in Chiefland. Yes, so I'm between Chiefland. Well, which address? Yeah, I'm, I'm eight miles from Chiefland. Which address should I come to? Five five, five Lane. One thirty third Lane. Sorry. Yeah, see, Florida. That's that's my address. Yeah, she just come there, and this lady will. It's a virus. It has to be, because I keep getting these messages and to take my phone to Verizon. What did the messages come up on? On your phone? Why, why you get that, sir? Why haven't you taken it to, to, to Verizon then? Yeah, I, I got your address. Okay, well, just come on. I'm here. Okay, but I, I, it's not going to be her, sir. It's going to be me that's at that address. She doesn't know what she's talking about. This lady's on drugs. That lady is so nuts. She, uh, you're, you must be on heroin or something, lady. Ma'am, I am not on heroin. I just called to buy a no, computer. This, no, no, this man, this woman, the other woman. The other woman? It says she's me. Well, I thought that was you. Isn't your? Isn't her name Kitty? I'm so confused. I'm Kitty. You're kidding? Just come to my address and you can buy the computer. Did you say you're kidding with me? No. She's not Kitty. I'm Kitty. What's your other name? What do you mean my other name? What are you talking about? I don't have an other name because I'm not a scammer. Oh, see, you don't I'm have not, the other name. I'm not that's a scammer. Why. I'm not a scammer yeah, like you. Yeah, you're scamming me. That's right, because I have a different name. Uh, you know how you go to school and you have a proper name, sir? And then you have a nickname? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Just come to this address. Okay. But is it good, like, are you guys going to be fighting when I get there still? She's not there. She's not here. I am too here, and I've got the desk all ready for you. I've got it sitting out on the porch. See, that's a lie. What's a lie? It's not sitting on the porch. So it's not she ready? It's sitting on the porch. No, it is ready. I shouldn't come and get it? You should come and get it. You should not come and get it. It's not ready. <laughs> I don't know what so to do. But if you want to just come to the ad, just come to the address if you want it, because I'm going to sell it to somebody today. If you come to this address, I'm going to take my axe and I'm going to cut the desk, the desk in half right in front of you. And so, I'll have the sheriff here for you, lady. Oh no, no, no! I don't allow yeah. the sheriff on my yeah, property. Yeah, I'll have the sheriff here my, for you. My, my property is a is a sovereign. Lady, I'll have the sheriff here for you. Sovereign I'm nation. telling you. I don't allow sheriffs. So if you want property. the desk, come to the address and get it. Well, I don't want to come there if there's. Up. It's over. She gave me her name and her address. <laughs> DJ Jackson says he would pay to hear her explain this to the sheriff. I kept fucking up. I kept trying to say things, but I would say it in the wrong voice. Yeah, finally one good call. Yay. Yay me. Only took two hours. Two and a half hours. Hello, Sharon. Hey, Aaron, uh, I'm calling about that uh, that boat motor, the, the 20 HP. What's an HP? Oh, that means horsepower, ma'am. Horsepower. I'm sorry, who are you, sir? Are there two people uh, on the phone? I'm... Hello? Hi. Hello? Yeah? I'm, I'm just calling about the boat motor, the, the Johnson Outboard. Yes, ma'am, that's a 20 horsepower. Uh, I'll board Johnson Motor. Sir, who are you? That That's my motor. Don't try and sell my motor. Ma'am, it costs $350. Yeah, that's what, it says. that's what it says here in the ad. No, no, no. I have a different motor. I don't know who this guy is, but I have a different motor. Well, no, I, I'm calling about the motor. Wait, no. Am I doing this backwards? I have the motor, sir. It just needs a little bit of work. It's $350. I know that 
that's, well, that's what the ad says. There, now yeah, I get it right. That's what my ad too. Yeah, that's what my ad said too. Yeah, so okay. when you guys figure it out, what do you, you don't want his, you call me back. No, she, huh? she called me, sir. What are you doing on my phone? I'm just trying to sell my Johnson outboard. I don't want to have my phone. I don't understand. Why are there two men on the phone? I just called in to buy this Johnson outboard. She might have, uh, you know, you, you can three way call somebody. She might three way call us. So, no, I, I didn't three way call. Was, no, nobody three way called me. I, my phone rang. She might have three way called us. You hear me, son? She might have three way called us. But you don't have a Johnson yeah. outboard for sale. I do. It's $350. It needs some work. I do not have to buy. I bet you my Johnson's bigger than yours. Fuck. I wanted to argue about Johnson's size. That was Amy Lee's idea <laughs> to argue about Johnson's size. Hello. Oh, my goodness. I hope that connection's better this time. Is that guy still over there? No. I don't hear anybody. So it pipes up again. Oh, I'm still here. And I, I'm selling my Johnson outboard. Oh, Why are you both that doing this to me? Again. Why are you both doing this to me? I just just want to buy just want to buy a twenty horsepower thing. Oh yeah, I see. I feel you say. All right, good luck. Good luck. Nice prank. What do you mean? <laughs> nice prank. I think I fucked up and said something wrong. Oops. I tried. I got confused because I did it backwards that time, you know? Carol was the the nice person and I was the the, the imposter. It gets confusing. <laughs> Add the guy earlier with no truck and no motor. Oh, that would be fun. You know what? If I get another one going, maybe I'll try and drop him in. All right, a shop welder. That sounds like something Carol wants. Oh, a 1997 Lincoln Town Car. That's for Carol. Sounds like something Carol would drive. Hello. Hello? Hello, how you doing? Pretty good. I'm calling about that shop welder, the Miller, the 250 amp. Yes, sir. Yeah. What What? I'm what can I tell you about it? What you What you want to know? Honey, honey, get off the phone. I, I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll sell him the shop welder, okay? What? Yeah, I'm just... I just need to find out, like, uh, you know, what accessories are with it. That's all. Is there two people on the phone? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I heard a lady talking. That's not, not, not on my end. That's on your end. No, bro, that's not on my end. I'm by myself. That was weird. No, it's it's definitely on this end. I'm the one selling the shop welder. It's a it's a Miller. It's an ACDC 250 amp. Yeah, it says that in the ad, but I was just wondering what what accessories is with it. And also, do you know anything? There's something wrong here, ma'am, lady. Yeah, well, who are you, sir? I, I don't, like, why are you on my line? Listen, I just got a call from Williston, Florida, and I picked up the phone and answered it, and I got this gentleman, and somehow you're on the line, and I have no clue how. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to buy the, the shop welder, that's all. It's, it's, I have the shop welder. Is it 1200 still? You don't have shit, sir. I'm the one selling the shop welder. Okay, ma'am, tell me about the shop welder then. What's it got on it? What it's, does it do? It's got 250 amps. Look, I don't need to listen to you two, like, argue with your your marital problems or whatever. I'm just, I just want the shop Dude, I, I don't I'm, even know how the hell she's on the line. I don't need I'm the one with the shop welder. Yeah, I'd like to buy a shop hey. welder. I'll pay 1200 for it. I just don't need all this drama, drama you know? Sir, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang up and call you back, sir, okay? Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Okay, thank you. You're going to reach me the, when you call back. I mean, no, you're the one. What's that's, your number, ma'am? Ma'am, what is your phone number? My number ends in 0558. He called me. Yeah, that's the number I dialed is 0558. Mm. I don't think so. You dialed uh, 0558. That's me. Yeah, that's the number I dialed. And you reached that's me. That's me. That's my phone number. No, that's my number. I've had that number for years. Bullshit. What's your uh, area code? Who the fuck are you? Well, you need to get off my line. Are you a scammer or something? No, I think you're the scammer. Yeah, that's something a scammer would say. Get off my phone, asshole. You get off my phone, bitch. You guys, I just I just want the... 
I don't know who this is. I got the welder. I'll send you the pictures of it. I don't know who the fuck this is. Oh, you you you're you know exactly who I am because you're you're like taking over my phone line and I don't know what your problem is. I'm just trying to sell my 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 welder, my shop welder. You don't have a shop welder, you dumbass. What you saying? A, a woman can't have a shop welder? No, I didn't say a woman can't have one. I said you don't have one. What does the shop welder do? What is special about the 250P that makes it special? I don't have to explain shit to you, sir. Get off I my know, line. I know because you can't explain shit because you don't fucking know. You guys, can you just can you do this with me not on the phone? You know, I I just I, I just want to. Sir, I'm going to hang up and call you back, and I'll send you pictures of the machine. Okay, I hope it works. I don't know who this is or how the fuck she got on the phone. Okay, well, whoever sends me the pictures, lady, lady, lady I will call. I will call the FCC on your ass, lady, playing games like this. Oh yeah, I'll call the F I'll tell the FCC you're stealing my phone line and, and trying to trying to like scam Go ahead, money. You stupid bitch! I've had this number for eight fucking years. You can call whoever the fuck you want to. Oh, I've had this number for exactly eight years. So you're full of shit. You're so full of shit, sir. I'll call you back. Okay, I, whatever. You know, reach me. I mean, no, that's not how it works. I keep getting confused. This is so confusing. This is some kind of joke. I'm tired of it. What? I'm I'm just calling about the, the welder, sir. I tried to call your number back, and it says it's disconnected. They're not in service at this time. Yeah, I, don't, I, I think that... I don't know what's going on with my phone. It's weird. I don't either, and I don't know how the hell this lady's getting on the phone because I've had this number for years. Oh wow! Yeah, and I can tell you, I, I, I can tell you, I'm a straight up retired law enforcement officer. Oh really? Y yeah, really. And I'm also a construction worker in the refineries. I have a Twit card and a high security clearance, so I don't know who this dumb bitch is or how she's got on the phone. You know what? You're the dumb bitch. You. You're the dumb bitch, sir. Because cause you don't have okay, what, shit for sale. I'm the one selling the welder. No, you're not. I what knew, does the welder come with? I knew you'd try and pop up on my line again. What does the welder come up with? What does it come with? I don't care at this point what the welder comes with. I definitely definitely need a, a 250 amp welder, and, and 1200 is a fair price. I'm, I'm interested. No, it's not. Sir, sir it's, it's not a fair price. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about either. Oh, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. 1200 is a completely fair price. That's you two are I, running a scam. You two are running a scam. Sir, I'm not with her. I don't know who that is. Neither am I. I'm not either. I'm not But if with you're stupid enough to pay $1,200 for a welder, it's, it's priced at $1,200 so we can come down on it. Oh, well, that, that, that's just a scam right there. See, this guy just admitted to being a scammer. He's, he's, I'm being honest, bitch. Oh yeah, yeah. Putting up an ad for something you, you, that's, that's you tell like, me. You tell me if you're you tell me if you're selling something that you don't up the price a little bit, so you got some wiggle room. You don't know how to do business, you stupid fucking cunt. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's real what honest. The, what, hey, real hey, hey. honest there. Putting twelve hundred dollars on something that's not worth twelve hundred dollars. Tell the man what kind of tell the man what kind of accessories it comes with if you know so much about Look, the welder. I, I don't want to buy my welder from someone that's gonna the like use the c word and everything. I, I just want to buy the welder. I, can, can I just buy the welder? That's all I want to do. Yeah, I'll sell you the welder. So you don't, so, so, so you don't want to look at the welder or nothing? You just want to buy it side and Well, yeah, I want to come to your house and look, or whoever's house, like whichever one of you it is. What's the address? Oh, I'm not about to give you my address with this crazy bitch on the phone. I'm fixing to call my phone company oh, and find sound, out what, what is going on. Sounds like you're afraid of women. What, are you afraid of a woman? She's just a woman. What's she going to do? Y'all are real slick. You know that? I got your number, buddy. We're not together, you fucking idiot. You're, you're just popping up yeah, on my are. line. No, I'm not. You can't pop up on somebody's line. Oh, yeah. yes, you, you know can what? because you, you've been popping up on my line. And you're lying. This you're, is saying, my number. you're saying you're ex law enforcement. That's a load of shit. No, it's not a load of shit. It's a load of shit. No, it's not. So basically, what you're telling us is that you're not law enforcement. You just you used to do something, then you don't do it anymore. Real scary. You're really scaring us there, sir. Good job. Uh, yeah, you really I know. got I us. Like an got us good. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. Both of you go fuck yourself. I ain't selling you shit. That sounds fine to me. We're just pranking you, idiot.
I was bored with that. Uh, I want to end the show early so I can go pee, but no, I'm going to I'm going to tough it out for 13 more minutes. We're going to do exactly 3 hours of show. And yeah, Haas Tolis says oh, oh, we're almost to 100 a thousand hearts. Everybody heart the show. Give me a thousand hearts because I think that's important for some reason. I don't know what hearts do for you. Do they put you higher up on the main page? That'd be nice now that I'm getting ready to quit. This guy is selling a yard machine. The fuck's a yard machine? Aftermarket radios, various kinds. Hello. Hey there. Uh, I'm calling about those uh, aftermarket radios. What kind of radios do you have? Behind you, car radios. Yeah, car radios. So that messes up that idea. Pioneers, JVC. I also got some Bill. Kenwoods, got some Kenwoods, got some Bose. Or is it pronounced I Boss? I some Kenwoods, probably. Wait, why are there two people like... on the phone? Which, which one of you are selling me a radio? I'm the one selling the radios, ma'am. Then why, why did I hear two men? I don't know. It's strange. Yeah, what's going on here? I, don't know. I, I hear a dog barking too. Yeah, that's my dog. He that's he me. just he just barked. So yeah, oh, yeah. No, I've I've got quite a few aftermarket radios. I used to steal a lot of car stereos back in the day. You know, these are basically all stolen. I just go around town and. You know, I got Kenwoods, I got Jensen's. Jensen, got, that's old school. Got some Alpine. I got Bly Pump. I got Bly Pump. Well, I'm sorry, which, which of you have the radios? I'm just calling about those aftermarket radios. I'm the one I'm that just has. Telling you I got them for sale. I have the radios. You both are saying you have the radios. I don't know who this other guy is. He He just popped up on my line. What? What was that? I, mean, I, I was going to say, uh, go to my life. Yeah, no. yeah, that's what I thought you said. It sounded just like... <laughs> well, sir, you need to get off my phone and stop trying to sell my radios. Those are my radios. I stole them fair and square. Where did you get all these radios, sir? Sir? Sir! Hello, sir! Axpa wants to hear him sing. Can, sir, can you sing us a song? What? Can you please sing me a song? Do what? I'm just saying, like, you have a really, a, a kind of a sweet voice, and I was hoping that you could sing me a quick song. I am a woman, after all. Come on, sing a song. What do you want to do? I, I just want to hear you sing for me. Just sing something. Sing your favorite song. Just sing your favorite chorus. Do what? Just sing something for me. Sing. Sing Sing a song. What's your favorite song right now? Tell me a song. I'm the piano man. Sing me a song tonight. Sing it, sister. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm getting so wet. Oh, oh man, I'm turned on. I'm, I'm about to slide off my chair. Just, just you know, that's that's gonna be me. Mm -mm. Oh, she just hang up the phone. Oh, I don't want to waste hang my up. time. No, sir, sir, look, can you do something for me? I I need you to do something for me, sir. Sir. I don't even know who you are. I know, but like, I want to come over and meet you. I really want to come over and and get one of those radios from you. I'll pay money, but you know, maybe also, maybe instead. We could work something else out, if you know what I mean. Come on, let's... Yeah, my dad, I'm married, so... Yeah, I but, you know, you, maybe you can come to my house, then. 
Where do you live? Uh, I'm 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 here. I'm in Old Town. Where are you? Yeah. Where are you at? I, I live in Old Town. Hey, can you do something for me? Can you can you pull out your dick and slap it on the phone? I want to hear it. No, nah, that ain't gonna happen. Oh come on, come on. This is a setup. How big a boy are you? A setup for what? Come on, this ain't no spy movie. What do you mean a setup? Yeah. It, Setups don't happen in real life. That's that's a TV thing. Yeah, it's just a free blowjob. Cool. You, you want, like... It don't make no sense to me, so it, if something's too good to be true, then I know you're full of shit. Well, no, no. I was hoping I was hoping to get a Jensen for a, for a blowjob. Do you have any Jensen? A what? A Jensen uh, aftermarket radio. Yeah. You know what? I like bad boys. I like... I like bad boys that steal car stereos. That's pretty hot that you stole all those like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Mm-mm. I'm like fanning myself. I'm like, woo! Oh, hell. Mm-mm. Damn, I shouldn't say that. Yeah. yeah. Come on, slap that dick on the phone. How how hard are you right now on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, I got ED. E.D.? Oh. Yeah, that called the dysfunction. Yeah, but didn't didn't you didn't you get all hot and hot and bothered uh, singing? Like, didn't that get the blood flowing, the blood pumping? You know. Yeah, listen to your bullshit. I got it going. You got it going. My, my bullshit. What are you talking about? I I just I just want to trade some dick sucking for a car stereo. That's all. No big deal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is a big deal. <laughs> how how old are these car stereos? What what decade did you steal them from? I don't steal. I yeah, but you got all these car stereos. I, I you must have stolen them uh, at some point in the past. Like, uh, were you a, no. a car thief in the eighties? I'm giving you two radios. What do you want? Can, can you talk? Um, can you hold your phone right side up? Who's the guy talking on the other end? I thought that was on your end. I thought he was at your place. No, I don't think so. Don't lie to me. I'm hey, not lying. Hey, I, I just cir- called. Is I just he circumcised? Called. Is who circumcised? Do you like circumcised or uncircumcised? Oh, I prefer uh, uncircumcised, but, you know, I'm, I'm not picky. Yeah, that, add, that adds to your interest to it. That adds to what? And then my head comes out. Oh, yeah, Ooh, there yeah. comes the head out of there. Mm, that sounds pretty hot. Hey, do you think you could uh, whip it out and slap it on the phone for me? I don't think so. Why not? Because yeah. I, I ain't. Because you ain't what? It doesn't have to be hard to slap it on the phone. Just, you know, just just, just thwap it on the phone. Just thwap, thwap, thwap. No, no, no. Come on. You know you want you to. Sound, you sound bad. I am bad. Damn, you don't do. Carol is a bad girl, and she needs a spanking. What's your name? My name's Carol. Carol? Yeah. Married, Carol? No. How old are you, Carol? I am almost 50. Well, just, you know, are you born in the 60s or the 50s or the 40s? I was born in the 60s. 1969. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. So what do you say, hey, big boy? Hey, Yeah, yeah, you like those younger it's... girls, don't you? No, you don't even try that shit with me, because I got your phone up. <laughs> I'm single Later. and ready to dingle. Oh, shit. Bullshit. What do you mean, bullshit? So, hey, about those, uh, about those aftermarket radios. <laughs> what? I thought we were, I thought we were really into it there. Uh, Bray says I was born on 42069. <laughs> of course I was. Well, what better way to end the show than with an old man not slapping his dick on the phone for me? Right. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. He sang for me, so I gotta end it there. The show's gotta be over. Thanks everybody for hanging out with me. 
looks like there's 84 listeners now. I'm pretty sure there was more like 94 earlier, so... Uh, yeah, I guess I'm getting boring or something. Whatever. I don't care. I was just about to Chris Hansen him. I was going to come in as that other guy and say, Hey, I understand you like to talk to my 14-year-old daughter. In fact, can I call him back? It's probably not going to work, but why not? One last quick try here. Hello. Hey, hey, my, my dad wants to talk to you. Hello, sir. Hey. I, I understand you've been uh, talking about penises with my daughter. And she's, she's only 16 years old. What's your problem? I don't think. I ain't talking about no penises to no, nobody. Oh, yes, you did. I've got a transcript right here. I recorded the whole call. I'm going to read the transcript. Here it is. I'm pulling out the transcript. It says right here, do you like them circumcised or do you like them uncircumcised? Because with circumcised, uncircumcised gives you an extra two inches. That's what it says right here on the transcript. It's true. That's exactly what he said, Dad. So you admit it then, sir. <laughs> okay. He did what I expected him to do. He's just going to... Be a coward about it and pretend that it never happened. Totally busted. So thanks, everybody, for listening. I had a lot of fun. Um, for those listening on the podcast feed, this has been a... Well, I don't know. With the music, I guess it's been like a two hours and 20 minutes. Maybe two hours. No, no, no. Two hours and 30 minutes. So when you see that this is a, a, a you know 35-minute show total, that'll let you know what you didn't miss this whole time. And Hay has a request. He wants me to say I'm out of here. Wait, do I have to say I'm out of here or do I have to say you're out of here? You're all out of here. Or I'm out of here. That's got to be the show title. You're out of here. Should have saved that guy's number and called him back. Bye, Hostolis. Bye, Daisy. Bye, Shit and Farted. Bye, Space Case. Bye, Green Imp. Bye, Axpa. Bye, Larry B. Bye, Default Urine. Bye, Jim Bob. Bye Deadly Pliers, bye Rev, bye Entrant, bye Hey, bye Devin Ana Start, <laughs> bye Dead Air, The Sound of Halloween, bye Space Case, bye Karma69, oh my god, the room's scrolling too fast, bye Bray, bye Leon, bye Booty Tapeworm, hey Booty Tapeworm, I seriously... <laughs> Uh, well, no, I don't even want to say it, but that idea that you had earlier, uh, yeah, that's, I, I think that may happen. I did write that down. I think that has to happen. Great idea. I'm going to hang up the show now. See y'all next time. All right, go listen to Daisy now. It's the Daisy show time. Daisy, start up your Mixler. Get your show going. Why haven't you started yet? Mixler.com slash Daisy Pendergrass. Everybody, hurry up. Hi, Listen. Brad. This is your face. Hey. I just wanted to say that the carton arcs was fine. I don't know what people are complaining about. It was it was funny. So yeah. there. That's all I wanted to say. Hopefully Goodbye. people can hear you. My face needs to speak the fuck up. I'm going to have to crank your voicemail way up so I can hear it. Try holding your phone right side up. Hi, Roy. My name's Jay. I'm from Medford, Oregon. And you suck camel dick. Okay, thanks, Jay. At least I could hear you. Brad. My name's Tim from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hello. I used to work for an Enterprise rent car Don't oh. play this on podcast, because that'll be bad. Don't there play this on the words. podcast. You're calling the voicemail. Fine, I'll delete the rest of the voicemail. I'm just going to play the part where you told me where you worked. You doxed yourself, told me where you used to work, just like people in today's show were telling me they used to be cops and stuff. What the hell, people? Don't call the voicemail line and tell me not to play this on the air. That's the opposite hey, of what this Cody number Coleman is. From Gunnison, Colorado. Uh, uh. Just calling to say fucking thank you, Brad, for all the free funny. You're Anyways, uh, also, I want to say I hope you tell my friend Mitchell Vallejo to fuck off. Please say that. Okay. That'd make my day. Fuck thank off, you. Mitchell. Was that good? Did that make your day? Hey, Brad. It's uh, Florida Will, the guy who uh, keeps calling about Perry Grip. Oh, this um, again. I've been in correspondence with him, actually, since oh, Jesus. the last show. And, Next, you're going to uh, call in and tell me you two got married or something? Instagram, man. I was 
contemplating whether or not I should tell him about the snowplow show and uh, tell him to check out the episodes, but yeah. I don't want him to be mad about you using any of his music. Oh, let him get mad. I don't cause care. Cause a copyright issue. So I didn't. I probably won't. But Perry's not going to do that. It was cool that I actually heard back from him. Uh, all thanks to Brad. All right. Um, cactus, cactus. I would be thrilled to get a takedown request from Perry Grip. Go ahead and tell him everything. Hey, Brad, it's Chris C. calling from the Great White North. Hey, Chris. I was wondering if you've ever heard of the uh, YouTube prank caller Candid Fellow. What he does is uh, he makes soundboards out of the uh, guys caught on to catch a predator and then prank calls businesses with those soundboards. It's really fucking funny. I think you really dig it. Yeah, His name maybe. again is Candid Fellow, all one word. Okay. And I think everyone who's listening to this should check it out, too. Cause it's fucking, it's, it's unbelievably hilarious and right up the alley. Of I believe you. In the PLA. But go check it out. It sounds great. I'm not going to look it up, though. I'm sure that YouTube will recommend it to me next time I visit YouTube because they listen to everything I do. Everything I think about is recommended on there. Hello, Brad. It's Christine. So please don't play that last message that I left you like a month ago. But play this one. Uh, uh, I personally love the partner arcs, and please do that more. Okay. And I guess that's all I called in to say. Yeah. Okay, have a good one. Bye. 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 Yeah, Carton Arcs today really suck, though. You're probably changing your mind after listening to today's show, because Carton Arcs was not working out at all. I thought a live Carton Arcs show would be perfect. I still feel like I need to give that another try. I was just having bad luck with the list at the beginning of the show. Hey, Brad. Hey. You don't need to know who this is. Okay. A good idea for a prank premise. Wow. is um, when you get grandma submissions, you need to be as vulgar as possible. You need to be a lot more vulgar. Yeah. Let's actually piss the grandmas Show off and make them hate their grandkids. And pr- hatred and profanity. Okay. More hatred. That's what my comedy needs, is more hatred. I want to bring a lot more hatred into my comedy. All right. Rick Breck here. Real quick question. I was just listening to you talking about the... Uh, you regret it deleting the uh, Lindsay Lohan yeah, voicemail. Dummy. Sorry, I sound out of breath on the treadmill. Trying to get up in tip top snow plow shape. Mm. Sounds like it, me after going up a flight of stairs. Anyway, uh, you said you were, uh, you blamed it on alcohol. So I've got to ask, what do you drink? What's your drink of choice? I got a feeling something's got to do with Pepsi. Pepsi Crown? Pepsi Jack? Nope. Anyway, let me know. Rubrek out, Rubrek away. I think back then it was just tons of beer. I don't know if I discovered Four Locos yet, because I, I didn't really drink a whole lot before maybe 10 years ago. Doing all these late night shows got me into drinking. I'm in worse health thanks to this show. So I know I was drinking a lot of Rolling Rock back then, because that's the cheap beer. Rolling Rock and Paps Blue Ribbon. Hey Brad, it's Cisco Kid. Hey. Just calling in to uh, give you my two cents. I think that the idea of 666 episode of the Snowplow Show being on Halloween is uh, a nifty idea. You can take a break or something of the other, you know, once you use yeah. up your next five episodes and you've got a few weeks. You could play the, the, you the redials. You do whatever you want, Brad. But aren't we almost there anyway? I mean, Halloween's right around the corner. We're just three episodes away Brad now. Brad motherfucking Carter. You it's... can take a week or two off. Yeah. You could do more hobo shows. I'm just sucking at putting out shows lately. That's my technique. I'm just going to continue to suck for the rest of the month. Mr. Dabalina's snow, uh, show, you know. Yeah. Or you could just go on everyone else's show. Do whatever you want. That's what I've been doing. And after that, you know, it'll be like a uh, snowplow show. Six, All six, right. Six. Bye. I get it. Fucking 666 six, six uh, Yeah, this is Ace uh, from the Rust Empire server. And I'm just calling to let you know that your dry cleaning is ready to pick up. Thank okay. you very much. Have a good one. Thanks, Ace. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey, Crimson. Hey, you haven't heard from me for a while. No, why is it yeah. is, Brad? You yeah, know? I've really missed these long voicemails that I never reached the end of. I've, got, I've, I've left not just one, not two, but three voicemails. Did you ever play them? It's been yeah. like months. That's the but, length of nine voicemails for you. I was waiting, waiting for at least one of them to play for me to leave another because you're like, don't leave multiple voicemails. So. Just trying to listen Did you to miss the part where I said I've okay. been really behind? Give me my message. All right. I love the recent pandemic all call. Right. It is 27 seconds in, and we are now getting into the meat of the message. Where you're saying, hey, you know, can't package up the driveway because the coronavirus, you know, so we're going to read you your messages. I, I think it would just piss people off even more if you just started saying all the typical, like, corporate. There's the cutoff. Oops. Sorry. 
Hey, Brad, it's Deep in the Heart of Texas. Hey. I don't know why people don't like your, um, your Karnark shit. That shit's fucking hilarious. Except today. I found out about them, like, months ago. Except so today, didn't it? I found out about them. And I love how there's actually other people in, involved in it. Like, I thought it was only one guy, but there's actually, like, multiple people. I hate uh, that there's other it, people but. involved in it. Anyways, man, uh, yeah, big shout out to the Karnarks. I love them. Go yeah. fuck yourself, uh, people who don't like him. Anyways, boomer guy away. Bye. I don't like the other Cartnark. The one that sounds like Ned Flanders or whatever. His whole shtick is just doing a silly voice. It's all about Sebastian on Cartnarks. Fuck everyone else. Oi, bad man. Basically, I'm being just like all of you people, bashing everybody else for doing the, the carding calls when anyone does it that's not me. Uh, a couple of episodes ago, you talked about how you're going to create like a Dropbox or a Google Drive or something for all the music. Or any audio that your fans create, yeah. so they can just drop it off in there, and you can use it conveniently. Well, no, no they can't drop it off in there. I was just gonna make like a repository type thing, so you could grab all of the the sound clips of Roy Sipians and stuff, and the raw show files, the split track audio, all that stuff. I think you should make one of those for uh, visuals. Also, not just music. Okay, that's a good uh, idea. Because I do a lot of drawings. I'm to do. I, I'm the dude that sent you all those uh, fun little drawings recently. Um, yeah, I was thinking if you had another one of those cloud drives, like to be a yeah. Google Drive or yeah, whatever Dropbox for visuals. You can, you know, all the draw uh, draw often, so I can just. Yeah, okay, like, I get it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't use Google Drive really ever for anything. I know I get like a certain amount of free space. Maybe I could use that for you guys to upload things to me. Or really, I'm pretty good with just email. That's how people normally do it. Just email it All to right, me. There's a second delay between when you say go and then it actually goes. I know. So pretty close. Anyways, Brad, I'm Cody Coleman. I uh, call from Gunnison, Colorado. Speak up. You can include that in your show. Anyways, I just want to say thank you for everything you do for us. You're welcome. Man, there's a fucking shitty ass time and you are it sure is just bringing smiles and laughs to all of us so i'm glad you for that you know uh, one so of these days you might be happy enough to stop mumbling so i can understand more of what you're saying i'd like to say to my kid and then uh yeah also tell him to shut the fuck up too man, just keep on keep on dude you're fucking kicking ass thanks yeah. tools Hope you have a good night. I'll try. Oh, what's up, bro? How you chilling? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> nice voicemail. This is gonna be a weird voicemail. Wait, no. Do you want? Do you want to just make it like ten years long? No, he's gonna. Yeah, be you a... know what? They did. It's it's three minutes long. That's the limit. When I see a three minute long voicemail, it's just gonna be. Somebody rambling, in this case, two people rambling. And I'm reading the transcript. There's a bunch of shit in there like, how you doing, bro? I promise we're not missing anything on this one. Hey, Brad, it's Haley's Comet from the hey. groin of the Distorted You Show. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to pull a Haley's Comet on you. Oh, something shit. that I'm kind Fuck. of known for in that voice. No God line. damn it. Everyone calling in about how you should do a special thing about the 666 episode. Can fuck off. Because it's the number of the beast and all that. Well, uh, they're wrong. Uh, you see, that's a translation oh error. God. The actual number of the beast, according to the Here book of Revelation, go. is 616. Idiot. But it's a translation error, and it's kind of culturally perpetuated because once an error like that's out there, it's hard to tell people, no, 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 no. we got it wrong, and still maintain some sort of religious authority about being, you know, the Bible being... Yeah perfect and all that jazz. Wait, the Bible's not mm -hmm. perfect? Now I'm confused. Okay, so you heard it from Haley's comment, everybody. The 666 show is off. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry, everybody. I wanted to do it, but Haley's comment came in here with all of his knowledge about religion and just completely shut it down. That's kind of a bummer. Sorry, everybody. Oh, my goodness. It's been a while since I called. Hey, Brad. Hey. hey. 
Uh, Corbin, and I'm calling to congratulate you on show number 666. Not there yet. Yay, praise the Dark Lord. It got canceled, okay? You've made the Holy Grail number, okay, or something like that. Yep. So, hope you're doing good. Doing great. All right, yay. Bye, dinner Corbin. I love when people leave voicemails where they just say yay a bunch, like they're a goddamn Muppet. Hey, it's Addis. It's a chief. You called me Addis S when I signed up. Um, it would really make my day if you uh, played my message on your show. Yay! I'm doing it. Yeah. Yay! You know, I Yay! I got a solar freaking raid road rage show, and I've been listening religiously. Hexagonal. Um, like Hexagonal. Four years now. I can say it now. Hexagonal. And bye. Fuck you, Brad. That show made me smarter. I now know that hexagonal is a word. Hey, Brad. It's uh, Everett from Tacoma. I was looking for a call you did where you uh, were talking to a landlord. You were talking to a property manager, and then you got her to put her boss on the phone, and it went to voicemail. And then you told her that you told the boss that that the lady said that you had permission. Um, didn't you leave this voicemail on the last show? Maybe you left two voicemails. You know what you wanted to do, and you were just cracking up. You were dying. Um, if any um, of the listeners know what episode that was, I'd love to know. There's Thank a few you. of them. Yeah, I sure don't know what episode that was. Hopefully somebody else knows and they can post in the comments. It's happened a few times, though. It wasn't just a one-time thing. Hey, Brad. It's Rince Prius from Hartford, Connecticut. Hey. Um, I love your show. Listen all the time. Thanks. Uh, I listen through Stitcher, usually. But randomly, your show doesn't work on Stitcher. I have no idea why. Ah, shit. It glitches out, gives weird error messages. It's not um, my fault. Anything you can do about that? Might be my I fault. I don't know. I don't uh, know. I'm not really a fan of Spotify for podcasting because it doesn't give me an alert when your new show comes out. Fucking Spotify. Um, I'm sure you'll tell me to switch podcast apps or something. But yeah. All right. Love you. I mean, it is better to listen through a, an actual podcast app since you brought it up and everything. And I'm looking on Stitcher. The web page doesn't even work. Like, I'm on my profile page for Stitcher and it's just a white blank page. So I don't think that's my fault. That's nothing I'm doing. I'm not changing anything. They're just reading my podcast feed. I know I broke it whenever my feeds, uh, you know, like I lost my secure certificate. That broke things. So I don't know what to do about Stitcher just being a blank white page. Their main page works. And I can type in the Snowplow Show and go to that page. Oh, but I'm clicking on it and it doesn't play. That's not my fault. I'm not doing that. This is a bunch of bullshit. Fuck you, Stitcher. This doesn't happen with anyone else. It's just me. I don't know what the problem is. I give up on trying to have working things anymore. Everything just breaks. It's hopeless. But yeah, switch over to a real podcasting app. Fuck Stitcher. It's clearly not working right. Podcast Addict works right every time. Hey, Brad. It's Seth in Reality calling from Colorado. Hey. Uh, you were saying about this episode 666, you didn't know what to do. Well, I got an oh, idea. Oh, my God. You need to use your Satan voice. I know you still have that. Yeah, You need I to do. call up churches and bookstores and all sorts of things like that, maybe. I don't know. Try to convert I, people. I'm, I'm you know Satan. what to do. Ha, ha, why, are you, why are you even asking me? Cactus, cactus. I didn't ask you. Hi, it's me, Brad Carter. If you don't believe me, just... Mead Skelton, everybody. Right How's this for a 30 minute second text? Ah, you fucked up. Oh, shit. Let's listen to him <laughs> stumble out of here. Oh, crap. There's no way to fix this. Nope, nope. You fucked it up. Oh, well, the hell of it. What fuck the hell? You. <laughs> what were you doing anyway? The fuck was that? Oh, hey, RBCP. This is Great Big Pete. I'm calling from the bathroom. Oh, nice. Well, I'm not taking a shit or a piss this time. Uh, I just thought I'd call because uh, I would hide in here when I hide from my kids, you know, because yeah. I don't want them in the background making a bunch of fucking noise and shit. That's right. Anyway. what every parent I'll does. I'll have to say... Uh, hide in the bathroom. That uh, this 666 episode that's coming out. It's the secret home, of parenting. You know, whatever, I mean, whatever, man. I I've been a member of the Church of Satan since uh, 1998, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, it doesn't make a lick of fucking difference to oh, me. Oh, no, it well, shows. Kind of fun, I can tell. It doesn't make a lick of difference to me. Uh, and also, did you know that on Halloween this year, it's going to be like a full fucking moon? <gasps> yes. Hail Satan, yeah. everyone. Stars are aligning. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's the 666 <laughs> episode <laughs> and Halloween and a full moon. How crazy is that? Hi, Brad. It's Zach Efron from that one TV show. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love I you. That. Come on, say it back. Uh, say it back. I, I love you, too. 
Love you. Bye. That awkward moment with Zac Efron. I remember that movie well. I think somebody sent that to me on DVD, and I still have it. Hello. This is Arbitrary Alex. I am the McDonald's eating mafioso that says sorry. And I'm just calling to tell everybody Dr. Tom Servo is the best. Yep. And that's all. That Great job. Totally is not Roy. Dr. Tom Servo right there impersonating Arbitrary Alex. Hey, look, I'm done with all the current voicemails. Let's just do a few that are kind of old. These are all the way back in July, and there's a lot of them. There's no way I can get through it soon. I got to do that voicemail episode that everyone keeps saying I should do. Hey, Brad, Justin from Maryland. Just got finished episode 647, Water Sucking Machine. And what the hell? It's 38 minutes? That's like hobo sewed length. What the hell is this? That's also the length that snowplow shows used to be before I started making them all over an hour long. Also, settle down. Jesus catch Christ. Catch up on your voicemails, man. Just do an episode. Just yeah. do a whole episode. Just voicemails. Then you're all caught up. This guy has everything like figured out. He knows how I can fix also, everything in the show. It's the 666 idea. Oh, God. Okay, this, this voicemail's over. I cannot listen to anything else about 666. I don't care anymore. Hey, Brad. You guys have made me hate the idea. Mr. Banana, uh, my first time calling into the voicemail. Hey, Mr. Banana. I just want to say um, that I love the show. It's really funny, and I uh, always put the smile on my face. So uh, keep up the good work. Thanks, Mr. Banana, for not talking to me about the 666 episode. I appreciate it. Hey, Brad. This is Fish Taco. Hey. Uh, great job with the shows. Really been cracking me up. Love you. Um, Thanks. What we need more of is Roy and Carol having an affair. I, I, I put in this request a month ago, at least. Yeah. And you were like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Now that I have Carol, I can bring back the whole, I can't do anything about you know, Roy, or I can't do anything about Carol. Okay, I'll get to it. I get it. Inappropriate on the phone Sorry. because we're having an affair, and she'll tell my wife. Okay. We need that. All Bring right. it back. That'd be a good thing to do when I'm changing somebody's phone number because they always want a supervisor for that, and I can just be like, well, he was monkeying around, but I can't do anything because I love him, and he'll tell my husband. Hey, King of Nipples here, and I was watching your videos on YouTube. I'm wondering how you get your your camera to have so little shake as you're what are you doing like you're driving a bike around or you're walking around yeah looks like you're going pretty fast there i'm just so, running how do you running do that real fast uh it's a gopro i think those have you know shaky stuff built into them i mean i, I know there it's like got a smooth motion thing on it but just being a small camera is really helpful because i've had big cameras on there before and those shake all over the place so get a gopro you don't have to spend a lot of money on one you don't need the, the newest one, whatever it is. Get one that's like five versions behind, like I have. They work great, and they cost nothing. I mean, the battery doesn't work great. The battery dies really fast. And also, you can fix that in software after you've recorded it. You can run an anti-shake thingy on your video editing software. I've only done that once, a long time ago, when I was using a giant camera. I don't do hey, it anymore. Hey, it's Cactus. Next time you're doing a phone number change call, you should tell them that in order for the process to finish, they have to hang up the phone. It's a genius way to combine hang up the phone and number change calls. Try yeah. it out. But then they think they have to hang up the phone. There's no psychology behind it. They have no reason to prove themselves stronger than me by not hanging up their phone. So I don't know. I don't know if that'll work. Hey, Roy. It's Teresa from Buffalo. Hey, I wanted Teresa. to say thank you for accepting my friend request on Facebook. You're welcome. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was a weed cough, not a corona cough. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you accepted my friend request. I wanted to say thank you. Um, and before I sent that, I hadn't gone through your pictures. Oh, shit. So I didn't know what you looked like. But you now, found the Nazi stuff. Request, I've gone through your photos, oh. and I get to see what you look like for the yeah. first time. Creeping me out. That's what you look like, Brad? Wow. What? That's not what I pictured. Oh, yeah, I'm old. Wow. Old and fat. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Thanks for making me you. feel like <laughs> shit, <laughs> Teresa. Okay. Apparently, I'm not up to Teresa's standards. Hey, Brad, it's Luke. I'm calling from my cell phone, and I'm listening to one of your dandelion calls. And I really wish that you would point out more that the dandelion represents the three celestial bodies, the uh, sun, moon, and the stars. I yeah. think that is a valid point. You should point it out every time that you plan to plant dandelions. Okay. 
I only like the yellow dandelions, though. I don't like the moon dandelions or the stars dandelions. I only like the sun dandelions. Those ones don't hurt your feet. They just make them yellow. Hey, Brad, it's Casey fucking Jones calling hey. from Eldridge Park at a payphone in Elmhurst, Illinois. And I was right. wondering, who's watching Bernadette when you're on your cross-country fucking thing that you do every year? Family. You slice open a bag of food and leave the water running. Yeah. You just leave the door kind of open so she can hop out and it's like, okay, you're on your own. You shove them her in the car That's and you're like, hey, you're coming to Roy, New Mexico. Yep. What do you do with her? Okay, yeah. bye. I have family and friends. They watch my cat for me. And the only reason I don't take Bernadette with me, other than that she hates the car, is because I feel bad cranking up my music when she's in the car. So I basically just don't do it at all. It would suck driving across the country and not being able to crank up the music or the podcasts. That would be a shitty trip. So Bernadette gets to stay home. Hey, Brad. It's four OC RV hobos. Hey. Uh, I had emailed you a uh, prank request. Uh, I love Tenants from Hell. Uh, you might have lost it because, you know, everything going on, you're moving back and forth. Nah. Um, but I, uh, I work in home improvement. And it's buried in my email somewhere. I'm sure I'll get to it. There is a freezer shortage going on so possibly if you were to call apartment complexes uh maybe you turned your uh walk-in closet into a freezer and maybe it froze the pipes in the wall maybe it didn't maybe it broke yeah. down and flooded uh, your apartment and maybe somebody else's didn't you suggest this in a comment somewhere i feel like i've heard this before i think um, i've done so this. that might be something that uh, you might want to look into but mm -hmm. uh yeah just thought i'd give you that this uh, is an old uh voicemail by the way this is july 25th but I know that was suggested, and that is a good idea. I need to do that, maybe, someday. Hey, what's up, Roy? It's Dozer. Just wanted to say hi. Hello. And what you do? Well, you know, just <laughs> deleting right, bye, voicemail, Roy. that's all. Have we heard enough voicemails? I mainly just played uh, a lot of the short ones, so that's going to suck. Next time I decide to play some old voicemails, they're all going to be long ones. Yeah, I think I'm done with all these voicemails. We're going to end the show now. Thank you, everybody, for listening. I hope you enjoyed today's show. And if you didn't, you can blame A.K. Frost and Stacky Stace and Boca Recovery Center and Jason B. and Audi Love. They're the sponsors of today's episode and everything is their fault. Thanks, everybody, for supporting the show. And if you want to support the show, it's patreon.com slash phone losers. As I said before, right after I did today's live show, and by today, I mean Saturday's live show, Immediately after Daisy did a show, I wasn't really doing a Daisy pre-show, even though I called it the Daisy pre-show, but apparently that forced her to do a live show immediately after me. There was a lot of pressure on her at that point. So she did a live show and she called a lot of these uh, same Tradio type people. Actually, now that I think about it, she called off of my list that I was calling from. She just kind of continued where I left off. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna scroll through that show right now and I'm gonna find a fairly good clip of me and Daisy screwing with people because we were doing basically the same thing that me and Carol was, except instead of fake Carol, I had real Daisy being the other person that had something for sale. So here's a clip from that. No, who are you? Which oh, I'm Daisy. You? Oh, hey, Daisy. Do you have the electric wheelchair for sale? I do. No, I do. No, oh, I do. So I, so I do too. Mine's for $500. Mine is too. Well, I was interested in, in the electric wheelchair and the 1990 Suzuki King Squad. The Suzuki yeah, the 300. Oh, so, yeah, so you got you, that too? So the girl does have that. That's, okay. I don't. Who are you, old that's man? That's mine. Who no, am I? it's I'm mine. Down. The Suzuki's yours? Yeah. There's a bunch of shit. You're full of shit. The guy just bought it. Sounds like a scam. Sounds like a scam to me, too. Why are you trying to... I don't to, know how the hell she got in. Why are you trying to scam us? There? Why are you trying to scam us? I ain't trying I just... to... Fuck you. I ain't trying to scam nobody. I'm sitting here watching television, and my fucking phone rang, and I got two people talking to me. Just, I don't know who the hell neither one of you are. I'm just trying to buy a goddamn wheelchair. I got a fucking electric... I got an electric wheelchair with a fucking lift for $500, and my Suzuki was sold today. Where did this woman come from? I have no fucking idea. Well, I, I would so rather buy it from her. Again, call me back. Call me some other time. There we go. I don't know if that was the funniest clip, but that's the one I found. If you want to hear the rest of that show, go over to Mixler.com slash Daisy's Dungeon and look on our show reel and listen to the show from October 10th of this year. You might find it amusing. 
Maybe. Oh, look at this. She changed her URL. She had a vote recently on changing the name of her show. One of the suggestions was Daisy Town. So I guess that's her new URL, Mixler.com slash Daisy Town. Because, you know, she's a real big fan of that Crazy Town show. She loves the music of Crazy Town. She's always singing it and stuff. So go there to find the show that I did with Daisy on Saturday. Oh, wait a minute. I'm thinking of Lazy Town, not Crazy Town. Crazy Town's a band, isn't it? That's what Daisy loves is the band, Crazy Town. She also loves Lazy Town, but whatever. I'm going to end today's show with a request song. I got an email request. I think it was emailed from Brendan. He wants me to play the Son of a Cactus song. He says that's actually the best song I've ever heard, and I can't find it. So today's show is ending with a song by Cody No Name. This is called Son of a Cactus. So I picked up, it's Roy saying he's the one who dinged my truck. He would be me radio waves and we had cool cups. Scratch a gas tank cap, left his CD in the trunk. I said, this seems fine, I don't need to see a scratch. And suddenly he says, well you park like an ass. Now I'm feeling appalled, can't believe what he said. I'm so flustered by this call, my face is turning red. Then he says, he's just playing the only call to distract us. Man. The temerity of the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. So day at work. I'm feeling pretty bored. It's when I get a call and it's Steve Steve Dave Dave from corporate. Hey Steve Dave, what can I do? Yeah, we're having some problems. I need a favor from you. Maybe I can pull some orders if you give me a phone number or two? Yep. Yep. Sure, here's some numbers. Anything else you need? Does a phone survey and someone kicks me in the knees? A few minutes later, I got people calling back to this saying, What the hell are you guys doing filling my engine with acid? Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Now this is a story that might sound weird. Was watching Hallmark Channel drinking some near beer. That's when my buddy calls Frank from the association. But what Frank said next gave me hesitation. Said he killed my lawn and my trees got to go. Building a cell tower, selling China, all my info. I need to like the Facebook or I'll get evicted. And my internet use is gonna be restricted. Then he says, Tell your wife to shut the fuck up. Can't believe what you're saying to me, Frank. Are you drunk? drunk? He says, Yeah, I'm wasted, but I've always disliked you. Put my garbage in your can and tip them over just to spite you. Hate your humble fence. It's covered with mold and a can. So damn old. But Frank, we're like the same age. This is so out of character. This call's so strange. You've thrown me for a loop. I think I'm feeling faint. Are you being serious with me, Frank? Nah, I'm just kidding. It's a prank. What? Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. <laughs> son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus, he's the son of a cactus. Where's your dog? Son of a cactus, he's the son of a cactus. Bob W. Son of a cactus, he's the son of a cactus. Steve Dave. Son of a cactus, he's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus, he's the son of a cactus. You're out of here.